morning. I'm just gonna play the Sims 2 soundtrack for a second before I open the game, because otherwise it's awkward and silent. Hi, <laughs> welcome back. Happy Wednesday morning. I also did not fix my bot command. Maybe that should be step one. Okay, what I was actually doing before I went live was um, making a list of all of the woohoo spots in the Sims 4 so that I can film a video about them. So that's what I've been sitting here doing. <laughs> I was trying to brainstorm and remember all of the like special location ones. Cause you know how there's like the ice cave and snowy escape and like the lighthouse in Brindleton Bay and like some of those things. So that's what I was trying to, <laughs> I was trying to brainstorm and remember. Anyway, hi everybody, welcome back, good morning. You have a farm? Um, I have a farm game. So, <laughs> okay, Simsy is playing Coral Island is what I'm doing today. Let me get the game open. I'll show you. Should you buy tiny living or nifty knitting? Ooh, I mean, it really depends if you prefer to build or not. Cause I, I think that like the real joys of tiny living come from building and like also simultaneously using it to cheat in the Sims. Like using, using um, Tiny Living to like get the the double skill gain and stuff. If you play like legacy challenges and everything, I really, really, truly enjoy Tiny Living so much. Like I think I would buy Tiny Living over Nifty Knitting, but I I think that it also kind of comes down to what your preferences are. Um, I really like Tiny Homes though. All right, we're in. We are in. <laughs> Just came from the merch video and wearing the Sims merch today, as I am not playing the Sims 4. <laughs> but I am wearing Sims merch right now. That's funny. Yeah, Romantic Garden stuff is free right now. Um, it was originally only free on Xbox over the weekend, and now it's free on everything. So that's fun and cool. How to be a farmer. Weather forecast. Ooh, cool. I haven't watched this yet. <laughs> I don't watch the TV. And yeah, we're gonna play Among Us later. That's the plan. Um, are the sweatpants comfortable? I like them. I'm, I'm prepared for today. <laughs> I'm cozy right now. <laughs> so <laughs> I like them. I think they're cute. Uh, and they're, I mean, you know, they're, they're decent sweatpants. So, okay, let's begin. You have your last final ever today? Oh my goodness. That's exciting. I remember when I did, I was, uh, I felt really scared. <laughs> it was like a weird day in my life. So um, I, I imagine maybe you feel kind of similar. Is Dan matching? Yeah, he, he was wearing this yesterday and he's wearing it again today. And I'm wearing it today, but not with the intention of matching him. I just am. And I'm a simmer, so he's the copycat for, it's. I have rights to this, you know? <laughs> um, is romantic garden stuff free regardless of what packs you have, the pet stuff you need to have cats and dogs already? Do you actually need to have cats and dogs to claim my first pet stuff? Or are you just saying that because my first pet stuff is like, it's missing content if you don't have cats and dogs. Cause um, you don't need like any packs to have the full content from romantic garden stuff. In the UK, yes. I never heard anybody talk about that. I don't think that you need to have cats and dogs to claim the free pack. Again, um, The Sims for My First Pet Stuff has, come to MC Cabin for us, we sell item for, to you, okay. The My First Pet Stuff pack has more stuff if you have cats and dogs, because there's like cats and dogs clothing and, and there's like a food bowl and a cat tree. And obviously if you don't have the pets pack, then you can't use the clothing and the food bowl and cat tree are just fake. Um, so I think that it's probably like a disclaimer, um, and not so much of like a restriction. I think you probably can claim it anyway. You just won't have all the content. Same way that you can buy it, <laughs> but you just won't have all the content. Cause this pack is, it's just on sale, but for $0, it's like a hundred percent off. So anyway, Jen and Andrea and Stacy and Context and Courtney and Sammy and Leah and Becky and Pink and Violet and Mad and OK Share. Oh my goodness, I forgot to read subs. <laughs> and Daisy and Betsy and Hellcat and Emily uh, and Sherry and Paulina and Goth and Uniquely and Chris and Caitlin and Beckle and Unicorn and Nat and Tori. Thank you all for the subs. Milrose too. Thank you so much. You know what else I didn't do? 
I did not open my advent calendars. We also did not build the, um, <gasps> guys. Wednesday morning besties, look. Remember how last week I purchased this and we were like, we can wait until May. What if we didn't and we just opened the whole thing right now? <laughs> what if we just opened like most of it right now? Just an idea. I don't know, because <laughs> we could just open up until the 20th right now. <laughs> what if we just did it anyway? You know, because we could get a different present for May. <sighs> okay, let me get my Sims 2 soundtrack back on. I have no self-control. Basically, if you weren't here last week, um, people were telling me that there's Little's Pet Shop advent calendar and then I bought it on stream and then it came yesterday and I wanted to open it with you guys. <laughs> glad I logged in for this. Yeah. Yeah. Bet you're glad to be here right now. <laughs> anyway, this is a Little's Pet Shop advent calendar. To be completely honest, I don't know what comes in it. It says there's 12 pets and 12 accessories. Um, and also this is pretty cool because like the, um, well, I don't know how to get it. But there's like, look at this. There's like a little sled and it can be like kind of 3D. These candy canes, they'll pop up. I don't really understand why the sled opens like that. The candy canes look like they would pop up and then be like standing to line the path. The sled is unclear to me, but that's kind of cute, right? It's nice, but they've made like a little scene for you to use and play with, so. I really like that about it. I would have left this when I was a kid. I would have kept it forever and used it. Look, even the little shoes stand up. Okay. Anyway, I was literally obsessed with Littlest Pet Shops as a child. Um, obsessed with them. Oh no, my stream is lagging. No! Did my whole PC freeze again? Uh-oh. Big problems, big problems, big, 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 big problems. <sighs> Is it back? Oh, okay, for a second there, my entire PC was lagging. Like literally my entire PC. So that was weird and scary. Um, <laughs> okay, <laughs> well, I think it stopped. So maybe we're fine, I don't know. All right, weird. Let's open this. Not you, that was me. My entire PC was lagging. Okay. Yes, you were very crackly. Yeah, I could see it. I'm looking at my OBS right now and like I was like a little frozen robot. Okay, day one. As I was trying to say, I was literally obsessed with Little's Pet Shops when I was a kid. So this is, oh my God. Oh, this is packaged quite well. I don't know how to get it out. There's like a little plastic bit. Ow. Look, this is my first Little's Pet Shop in probably, God, 12 years or something. <laughs> this is the best day of my life. I actually kind of like it. It's cute. I was wondering how these were packaged because I was like shaking it and it wasn't making noise. The noise that you just heard was this little tiny, probably like a, oh, it's a small parts warning. That's what you just heard because it was packaged tightly and now I just made it fall out, but it doesn't make noises when it shakes. No! My PC is doing it again. What if I close the game? Why is my computer lagging so much? Guys, isn't that alarming? I think it's alarming. Okay, day number two. This one's only small. Come here. It's like a little dog toy. Look. Cute. Don't eat it. Okay. Next. <laughs> Computer's sleepy because it's not awake yet? Maybe. Day three. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. It's so small. <laughs> Why is it so small? That's so cute. <laughs> oh, this is so fun. I can't believe, I'm so glad 
that you guys told me about this. I feel like I'm healing my inner child right now. This would have been like the greatest thing I ever owned if I had this when I was a kid. I was obsessed with these. Okay, day number four. Another dog toy. This is a disappointing day compared to yesterday. Oh, oops. It's just like a little bone. That's okay, I would have liked it when I was a kid. So it's fine. Wait, I thought you moved? Who, me? Yeah. I moved in September of 2022. <laughs> um, I have the same shelves behind me. So maybe that's what's confusing you, but it's a different room. <laughs> okay, day number five. <laughs> Ow, it kind of hurts when I'm trying to take them out. Thought we were opening that in May. No, I'm opening it right now. Ow! I can't get it out. It actually hurts my fingers. <sighs> Looks like the same room. Well, it's the same furniture, isn't it? So <laughs> that would make sense. <laughs> it actually looks very different, but you might just be remembering the furniture. I, can't, I actually can't get it out, you guys. It's stuck. Ow. What do I do? What do you do if you can't get it out? I got it. Ow. Look. That's so cute. Use a knife? That's a horrible idea, Hope. What is wrong with you? I don't think that it's meant for tiny fingers. I think that it's just hard to get out because it's packaged tightly. Ow. <laughs> now I have to do this so many times. <laughs> Okay, okay. Oh my god, I actually can't. Look what I did. Okay. What is that? Ow! <laughs> I need to get a pen or something. Maybe a pen would help. Why are- oh no. I brought all of my- My favorite pen is downstairs. Okay, you can use one of these. Oh, look what I have! Sims pen. Come here. I think this is like a scarf. Oh, that's nice. Does it go on the most recent one? My fingers hurt now. This was a mistake. Okay, I think it's too big for that little guy. It'll go on this person though. You never know, sometimes the ones in a row are supposed to go in a set, so. Wait, that's actually so cute. Are you kidding? Outfits. Okay, day number seven. Is this a new calendar? Yeah, I bought this. <gasps> Look! Oh my god, the tiny ones are so cute. Are the tiny ones new? I never had these when I was little. Like the tiny, tiny, tiny things. I had a lot of secondhand Littles Pet Shops though. So I had old ones. That's so cute. It's like a little bunny. Now I have two tiny ones. We have multiple different sizes of pet shops now. Look. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> it's so tiny. <laughs> Where did I get this? To be honest, I bought it on Amazon. It's another scarf, but it's the same thing. It's just yellow. Come here. I mean, that's cute, but like, really a dupe? See, same thing, just yellow. That's okay. I actually like the tiny ones better than the full size one. So I'm not mad. Rip Lego calendar, definitely bottom tier now. <laughs> yeah, I hate to say it, the Lego one kind of loses now. Oh, I don't like it. Ow, oh my God, she has a pointy head. Come here. I broke the pen. <laughs> oh no, not my Sims pen. It's not a unicorn. I think it's a cat. <laughs> it flew out of my face. <laughs> okay. 
Uh, this is the one from today. This is day, uh, day nine. See, I don't like it. It's too fancy. I prefer plain. Okay. <laughs> this calendar is dangerous. This doesn't feel like it's safe for kids. My fingers hurt. What's on her head? I don't know. I think it's supposed to be like markings, like maybe like a tabby cat would have or something. I don't know. Oh. It's skis. Look. So. Come. It doesn't. Okay, look. That's kind of cute. I like that. Try using a crochet hook. I don't have a crochet hook. That would be nice if I did, but I don't. All I have is a pen. Yeah, this seems like the kind- oh my god. <laughs> this is not- this would not be easy for a kid. I'm not getting a knife! Oh, an adult needs to help a child with this for sure. I really like these tiny ones, look at that! That's so cute! <laughs> oh, okay. Day number 12. Here we go. Oh my god, there's ads playing. We'll wait. <laughs> no one can miss this. No one can miss this. I need a break for my fingers too, because this one's kind of starting to hurt. <laughs> Lily, thank you for the nine months. Um, I hope your mom's okay. I'm so sorry, friend. That's so scary. I'm glad that we could hang out and, and be here for you. Um, and Heartfelt and Katie and Claire and Beth and Paige and Persephone and Lydia. Thank you for the subs. No, they're not all kitties. So far, there's three dogs, two cats, and a bunny of varying sizes, plus two scarves and two dog bones. So... There's a clip of me breaking the pen. Is there a clip of the littlest pet shop hitting me in the face? Ow! Oh my- I don't want to watch it, it's embarrassing. <laughs> Can you- could you see it hit me in the face? <laughs> yeah, I'm curious if we'll get another full-size one too. It looks like there's only one more big day. It's one and the same. Oh, the clip, it happened all at once. Oh wow, that's embarrassing. I was wondering, because when I opened this, I was like, it's smaller than I thought, so it can't be that many big ones. And it isn't that many big ones. It's true. They scammed us. Ow. Okay. Oh my God, she has a Here we go. Head. Watch it hit me in the face. There. Wait for it. I don't want to listen to it. It's embarrassing. Oh, she broke the pen. Oh no. Hurry up. When will it hit me? Oh! <laughs> okay. That's all I wanted to see. <laughs> it came flying. Anyway, sorry. Oops. I don't even have the game open because I was crashing my PC. All right. Let's continue. <laughs> Let's continue. Where's number- okay, number 12. Ready? Oh! It's a little dog bowl! It looks like it's supposed to have food in it, but it's like all one color, so it's kind of weird. <laughs> like, that's kind of icky. <laughs> also, this dog bowl is like bigger than the- oops, than the little tiny ones. See? Could be your bed. <laughs> this is The Sims 4 My First Pet Stuff. Okay. Day number 13. Oh my god, it won't. It is a Littlest Pet Shop Advent Calendar, yeah. <gasps> is it like a bear? Oh, it's kind of weird looking. The proportions are weird. Look at you. Little tiny bear. Maybe it is a bed? I don't know. I think that those are supposed to be like little pieces of dog food. I don't think it's a bed. Because so far, all the other accessories are for the big one. So, 
Oh, you think it's a hamster? Are you sure? I don't like it. I don't think it's a hamster. It has like bare feet and bare arms. I think it's a bear. Whatever it is, it's an ambiguous animal and I don't like it. Okay, day number 14. When I was a child, I would have really liked day number 14 because my birthday is August 14th, so I would have been really excited about this day. It's a hairbrush. My birthday is ruined. <sighs> oh my god, flop. Okay, next. It's not a hamster, Tilly, it's a bear. Look. You see how this thing looks like it? That is not a hamster. Objectively, not a hamster. Similar vibes, not a hamster. I love the art. Okay, they are 15. It's a bear again! See, this is not a hamster. It's the same creature, just standing differently. Not a hamster. It's just not. See? Same sort of thing, sitting differently. Focus! I don't like them. I like this one better. It's more obvious. Next, day number 16. This is taking us ages. You think the big one is better than the little one is a hamster? It should be more obvious. This is another treat. Ow! Oh my god, breaking out the pen. Oh, sorry. <laughs> it, was, it like got in the fold of my hoodie, okay? It got lost. It's this. In my defense, it's a similar color to my shirt. There is a cat hair on it. <laughs> don't, don't, please don't judge me, okay? I live with three cats. <laughs> I don't even know where that came from. I think it's a little, it's like little heart cookies or something. It's kind of like this treat is, but there, it's a heart. So, like biscuits or something. It's little treats for them. Okay, day number 17. I think it's hot chocolate. Oh, this is the cutest food we've gotten so far. I would have loved this. There's like cinnamon sticks and marshmallows. That is really adorable. Oh, I like that. It's kind of disappointing for like a whole day. Did I skip 16? No, we just, that was the heart treat. Okay. How do you find stuff from Sims 4 like pens? I think the Sims 4 pen that I have was given to me at some Sims event. I mean, it's not a nice pen. The stuff is like scratching off of it and I don't use it for anything. This was happening before today. Like I didn't do it today. Um, it's just a random, like, you know how companies buy like a bunch of merch pens. I can't believe they gave multiple accessories in a row like this. That's a disappointment. Okay, number 18. It's a little tiny bird. That one's cool. That's gonna hurt my fingers. That's actually the best one of the tinies so far. I would have loved this as a kid. That's cool. Oh, I really like this advent calendar. This is like the most fun advent calendar I think I've ever gotten. <laughs> Good thing I'm doing it mostly all in one day. We only have two days left because I'm gonna save these to open on the next few days. So we have yesterday and now today. I would put that one in a cage, Hope says. What are you? No, this is the worst one. Oh my God. Whew. 
Is this supposed to be like a lantern? But look, it's all one color, so the flame is just in there. Are you kidding? That's stupid. This is the worst day. No, I didn't skip 16. Hope already asked that. I did open it. Um, it just might look like it's closed from the camera, but as you can see, nothing's in there. <laughs> I That's a terrible one. That was a scam day. Okay, today. This is big. What is it? Get out! I broke the pen again! <sighs> Come on. Here we go. Maybe it's like a fox or a deer. The tail is throwing me off. I don't know. Ooh, it matches my outfit. So, pig? No. You think it's a baby deer? Okay. Okay, I think it's a baby deer also. Well, we'll save the next couple days then. Because we want to actually use this as intended. So, we'll open them. Can we just do the rest? No, we have to be good. You want to see the full size one? No, that's a Christmas gift. This has been so fun. Thank you for letting me open this today. I'm serious. I think we should wait. You were already bad and opened it. This was not bad. I thought maybe I would save it until May or I could just get something different for May. Where did I find it? Um, I bought it on Amazon because someone told me there was one. So, anyway. What if we open it so all the afternoon people don't find out? That doesn't seem fair. I think I wanna wait for my own gift. I would think we should save it. And I won't, how about this? I'll save these for later. So the people later never need to know what we've done. Okay? Cause I will be live later, so. We can be brave. We can be brave. We've got enough advent calendar time today. It's been half an hour. <laughs> it's been half an hour. I think my favorites, as I'm looking through these, I really liked the tiny bird. I thought that one was cool. I liked this little dog. I would have liked this when I was a kid, probably as one of the best ones, because I didn't like the weird ones. The ones that were like unclear. I don't like those. Um, I would have liked this dog. And then this is the actual only normal sized one. So that one was pretty good too. So you can get a bunch on sale after Christmas to save for May. Oh my God, that's genius. You're right. That's a good idea. Okay, I'm running out of like little boxes to put all my toys in. These are so fun. <laughs> I love little pet shops that made my day. Okay. <laughs> Um, let me go and get the game back open. Um, uh, Frank, awful, Cyber, Lynn, thank you for the subs. Now I'm a little bit nervous about, um, cause I think my PC was dying cause of the game. I'm serious. Cause that, when I was having all those lag problems where my PC was like struggling, it was cause I had the game open. So, I don't know. If you're crafty, you can turn them into keychains or ornaments. Yeah, that's true. People were talking about that with the um, the mini brands ones as well. Um, I have a great deal of Lilo's Pet Shops from when I was a kid that I've been saving. Um, so I might, I don't know if I'll end up, I need to look through all of those. When I was a kid, my mom had like gave me all of her Barbies that she had when she was a kid. And I thought that was so fun and cool. And as an adult, I think it's even more fun and cool. I don't have kids. I'm not having kids for a long time. Stop. Okay. But I think that would be cool to save them. My old little pet shops for if and when maybe someday, not now. I have a child. Okay. 
you have to give like 50 disclaimers because all of a sudden they're gonna be like, wait, you're pregnant? No, <laughs> no. Ah! <laughs> Here we go again. Oh, great, I have to redo. That's okay. That's okay. No one in chat did it just now. It's just, there's always somebody. There's always somebody. All right. Or you can keep it for yourself. <laughs> we don't need to give it to any of these kids. <laughs> Tilly, what DM? Hold on. Are you being rude to the littlest pet shop hamster? Tilly, I literally have this. Tilly is bullying this littlest pet shop hamster, which I literally have. Trying to say, oh, the side view's worse. I know this hamster well. I, I have this. Thank you very much. It's not hideous. I liked this one a lot when I was a kid. I used to have all of my ones. I had like five that were like little rodent type things. And I used to have them all be like friends. Cause I, I had like, I, I like to make, I didn't have like a computer to be doing spreadsheets in like Excel, but I was doing it on like a notebook. I would make like basically spreadsheets in my notebook of like, I would categorize all the ones that I had and like what their storylines were and who they were friends with. And I had them, all the rodents be friends together. Um, and I would play with them together and I would make them like a little house out of like three books stacked. So there was like walls and a roof and then they would live in there. So don't be mean. You think it looks like pulp? Pulp's head is like, this one has big head, pulp has tiny head, but otherwise similar vibes. Yes, there was lore to my littlest pet shops. <laughs> there was lore, it was serious. <laughs> 90s LPS were better. Yeah, see, that was, that would have been like one of the old ones. They really have changed like the way that they are now. These are, these are newer, obviously. A lot of the ones that I had, I had gotten secondhand that were like older. Cause even when I was a kid, the ones they were making were like a little bit less, it's hard to explain, but you can tell even like just how the eyes are, they were different, but the old ones were better. I agree. They're very glam now. Yeah, that's a good way of describing it. You had a dollhouse, but use shoe boxes to make different rooms. Yes, we were talking about this last week. I did the exact same thing. I would I would use like old shoe boxes and and like like either draw in them or like cut out and paste like stuff that I had drawn or like print out pictures. Like I had one where I was trying to make a school, so I printed out pictures of lockers. <laughs> And I put them like, like tape them or glued them to the back of the shoe box. So that way I could have like a school for my little pet shops to go and play in. <laughs> and obviously I was like in elementary school. So the idea of having lockers and like it being like a, like a big kid's school was like so cool to me. So I wanted to have lockers in there. <laughs> oh, I miss those days. <laughs> I still think that would be fun. Did I watch LPS movies and stuff on YouTube? Bestie, I was making those. <laughs> yeah, I watched them. Yeah, I watched them. <laughs> I was like 12 years old in middle school making videos like that. So, um, this is my home. <laughs> That's where I got my start. <sighs> oh, okay. I'm gonna probably gonna go and buy um, some more of the, I need to ship bronze quality fruit. That's gonna take me ages. I'm probably just gonna sell those. I need to go buy some more seeds, I think. Anyway, I wasn't, I didn't have like a, a lot of people watching them or anything. There was one person Okay, anybody here, did you watch LPS Popular? I forgot the sugarcane, like I didn't sell it. I think I'm gonna keep the sugarcane. Did anybody watch the LPS Popular series? Serious question, really important business. Anybody? Oh, not 9 a.m. yet. Legendary. She was an icon, the person making those videos. That was like so formative in my life, LPS Popular. <laughs> The, she was doing all that with the sets and like printing stuff out and that's why I wanted to do it. 
You were an LPS hater when you were little? Oh. I'm not sure you're welcome here. I'm kidding. <laughs> you don't remember? Oh, can I show you guys what I'm talking about? This was iconic. The drama of this series. Like, it was- it was cinematic. Sophie GTV was making stuff like- wait, let me see if I can find you one of the videos. Um... Okay, here we go. Full screen. Ready? Like, look at the kind of stuff that was going on. This was serious. And she was putting, like, like, this is supposed to look like makeup. Sometimes they would put, like, actual water so it looked like they were crying. Like, you guys, this was serious. The water for the raindrops? Come on. I'm telling you, it was cinematic. Look! Come, come on. Anyway. <laughs> They're a little crusty. Don't be rude. Yeah, and? I wonder what this person is up to now. That was eight years ago. The last video is from four years ago. My video started off as a way to entertain my little brother. I had no idea they'd become entertainment for others as well. That's so cute! <laughs> That's so cute! Okay, sorry. I need to get it together. <laughs> Vings and Solo and Frank, thank you for the subs. All right. Um, shop. Maybe... What should we plant? How much time do we have? Should I get some potatoes? I think so. Okay. Oh, maybe they also couldn't make money after those rules changed with the content for kids on YouTube. And then also probably just outgrowing it, like, and, and wanting to be doing something else, which is- which makes sense. Like, they probably started when they were close to my age, you know? Um, and probably- or maybe even older than me, because they were doing it when I was really young, and it was good when I was really young. So they probably, like, didn't want to continue for so long. Any combo of that would be, like, a reason to not want to keep going, you know? Makes sense, but... I wonder what they're up to now. I hope they know that they were instrumental in my childhood, and honestly, in my life as an adult as well, because... <laughs> I, I would not, honestly, really and truly, I would not be here today doing YouTube if it was not for Sophie GTV, so. Okay, um. Would you say getting the Romantic Garden Stuff Pack is worth it when your computer is already struggling with the packs that you do have? Vera, it's free, so claim it no matter what, and if you need to ever disable packs, like if you actually can't run them, um, there's no harm in, in, like, getting it now when it's on sale, because it's zero dollars, right? So you may as well just get it and then have it in your EA library. And this website from James Turner will tell you what to do to, to disable packs, and if you actually can't run it, you can just disable it. Because you never know, like, maybe someday you'll have a better computer, and then you'll be able to run it better. And then you'll have the pack still, because you got it for free now. So definitely claim it now when it's free, because it's free, there's no harm in doing that. And then if you actually need to disable it, you can use that website from James to do it. Um, so, that's my advice. <laughs> yeah, Romantic Garden stuff is free right now on PC. Much like, um, how My First Pet stuff is also free. Romantic Garden stuff is free too. Um, okay. Okay. What do you guys want to do? Yeah, and a stuff pack won't be as, as bad, really, to run. I don't think you'll have issues with a stuff pack. An expansion is, like, a bigger deal, but this one's only small, so. Um... I don't think it'll be too much of an issue for you. All right. So on this day today, I need to, um, local produce, explore the ocean, free the earth giant, visit the band of smiles, donate items to the museum. Who's the band of smiles? Where do I go? 
Let's get to the bottom of the earth mine. Oh, we can do that. There's a shop in the woods open now. Ooh. Where? Prove it. To the left of the ranch. Okay, I actually haven't played that much yet, so. Kyra's house, you say. This person, Kira? Jack, Kira, and Kenny's house. Let's go. Okay. Um, let me just come over here really fast. Enchanting, a key and mix. Thank you for the subs, everybody. Oh, hello. I came too far. I'm at the mine. That's okay. The shop is next to the mine's entrance. Oh. Well, that's good. <laughs> Perfect. Whoa. OG farmer hat, alien scarecrow. Well, I won't be spending any money on that, but that's fun. You're a Webkins and Polly Pocket girly. Oh, I was a Webkins girly. I was really into Webkins. <laughs> Me and my friend Brittany, when we were in elementary school, we would call each other on like the home phone after school, and and we would. What am I doing? Um, we would call each other on the home phone after school. <laughs> And we would play Webkins at the same time. <laughs> it was good stuff. It was real good stuff. I was never into Club Penguin because I never had like the membership to Club Penguin or whatever. I played it a little bit, but I was way more interested in Webkins because I got a couple Webkins for my birthday from like friends and stuff. So I had them, um, but I didn't play Webkins. I also played a lot of Neopets. That was what I was into. Kayla, we've been expecting you. Hi. You did good defend defeating those monsters. Come, let's start your initiation into the guild. Okay. I can do that. Mark? And that's why you never bet against Kira, foolish Mark. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, Neopets was fun. I really like Neopets. Wasn't expecting Garden Rake here to pull it off. Whoa! What did you just call me? Garden Rake got through more monsters than you did in your first month, Mark, so zip it. <laughs> Any objections before we start? No. Another Greenhorn? I haven't even acknowledged this Mark boy. Whoa. And what's this? You got a farmer doing an adventurer's- Oh, hmm. Do what you want, Kira. It's your branch. Okay. <laughs> Drama. <laughs> Mark, bring me the sword. Okay. You know what I like about this game so much? Because the, the other game that's sort of like this that I've been playing a lot recently was Fey Farm. And I liked the vibes of Fey Farm a lot. I thought the mines were really cool in Fey Farm. But god, the characters were so bad. There was absolutely no variety of dialogue or story with the characters. It was like terrible. There was like one of the things that stands out so much to me about this game is like all of the dialogue and the like, characterization and like the, the differences in the people, but Fey Farm just does not have that. <laughs> it's like useless even bothering to talk to anybody. <sighs> Thank you, big boy. Okay. Are you ready, Kayla? Yeah. Whoa. Do you wish to become a member of this guild? Yes. We only have three rules you must uphold. First, defend humanity from the evils of this world. Second, help those in need if it's in your capacity to do so. And last, have a smile on your face as you adventure. Okay, that's the hardest part of this. <laughs> Knowing the three rules, do you pledge your allegiance to the Band of Smiles? Yep. Then I welcome you to the Band of Smiles. You're now one of us, okay? Okay. Fresh meat, the best kind of meat. Hmm. I didn't even notice you sitting there. <laughs> One day we shall spar, you and I. Preferably at a different chapter, though. Okay. Me and you? Spar? I... <laughs> I think that I'm a little too small for that. I don't know if that's a good idea. <laughs> I'm like this big compared to him. 
It's decided you'll visit us sometime, okay. Enough chit chat, okay. This sword, put it back by the fireplace, it's a decoration, okay. <laughs> you think we need to marry Axel? Maybe. Okay, I have access to the guild rooms, sure. Sounds good to me. Okay, now what should we do? <laughs> you guys wanna go into the mines? Probably should try and get some food before we do stuff like that. Axel is not romanceable. Oh, that's okay, I don't want to date him. I'm not interested in dating a man in this game, I don't think. I'm not sure, maybe. There was a couple that I liked. So, why are we up so early? I stream in the morning on Wednesdays always. I'm usually here at this time on Wednesdays. You can't even gain friendship with Axel? Oh, good. Well, he wants to beat me up anyway, so that's fine. Um, should I bring, maybe I'll bring some of these with me to eat in the mines. Stuff like that. Okay, oops. Should that be fine? I don't know. I don't know. I will be live later. We're gonna play Among Us later. So I will be here later too. So this is a huge shock, but I married Mark. <laughs> he called me Garden Rake. Oh my God. I could never do that because my dad's name is Mark. That kind of gives me the ick. So. Good for you. All right, let's go to the mines. I mean, that's true. Yes. That is true, Ho. He could have called me something worse. <laughs> Roz, Justin, thanks for the subs. All right, let's get a move on. Whoa. Oh my god, this is ridiculous. I'm like wasting so much. Okay. I'd let him call me a garden rake anytime, okay? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I really actually haven't played this game that much, so I don't know who I would want to date or anything yet. I need to get to know more of the characters better. I've met them, but like you don't really know until you like know them more. So. Um, let's see. Oh, that thing is new. Let me get ya. Sorry. Oh! oh the way it just died made me feel sad. <laughs> I don't think I'm doing that good at this level. Oh, never mind. Sorry. <laughs> Silly and pretty. Thank you for the subs. <laughs> okay. Oh, thank you. Thank you. What time are you playing Among Us? Gotta feed your cows. Oh my goodness. We're not gonna play Among Us till later. I usually stream on days that are not Wednesday at four o'clock Eastern time. It's only 10 a.m. right now, so not until later um, when I like normally go live. I don't know where you live, but four o'clock Eastern time is 9 p.m. in the UK. Um, although if you're feeding your cows right now, it's probably not, you're probably not in the UK. I don't know when people feed cows, but. This may come as a shock to you, but I don't know much about cows. Okay. Come here, everybody. Oh, I'm gonna get this quick too. Oops. Lots of ore from this, which is good. 
I missed one ore scratch. Oh, I did somewhere over here. It's 5.30, I'm on level 27. Oh, I did miss this one. I wanna make sure we get down to like the next level. How many levels are there in each of the mines? Is it like 50? When you were driven to school, you were sometimes late because of cows crossing the road. Oh. I've heard people talk about that. That's not my experience. That's so interesting. <laughs> 40, okay. 40, we can do that. I am gonna need to eat. Consume. One time you just turned around. Wow, that is so cool. <laughs> There's not really a lot of cows around where I live, so. <laughs> there are cows like in Florida, but I don't live, I mean, I live in Orlando, so. <laughs> Local to me, there's not really a lot of cows. <laughs> so that's very interesting to me. One time your bus had to wait for a gator to cross the road. Oh my God. One time when I was in elementary school, there was an alligator in the um, like little pond behind, because there's like little bits of water and ponds everywhere here. It's Florida, it's basically a swamp, but there was like a little alligator in the little retention pond thing behind the playground in elementary school. And they had to close the playground for like a couple weeks until they could get someone out from like whoever to remove the gator from, from the school. That was the only time that ever happened to me. Okay, we're on 29, and it's, it's level 30 and then we have to go home. We don't have enough food and it's getting late. As long as we get to the next set of levels. Is there anything good around here? Hello? Anybody interesting? No. No, no, no. Let's go. <laughs> Spider, thanks for the 36 months. I'm sending you a lot of love, friend. Thank you so much for, for the resub. Spikes! Okay. Wow. Did I see your tip for level 30 to 40? No. Let me check them though. Let's find out. There's no elevator on 35. You have to go to from 30 to 40 without stopping. Okay, yeah, we won't try that today. <laughs> it's too late anyway, but um, we can do that just fine. That is okay. We'll make sure next time when we come in, we have more food. So that'll be good. Oh wait, I can take the thingy back. If you don't want those, they can sell for a hundred. Oh really? I probably, I mean, I don't really use a lot of, um, I don't really use a lot of stuff like this, but I will probably save it. Cause I don't know what if I end up needing it, you know? Okay, sell that. Monster Essence, Mystery Geode. Okay, coal, wood. Wow, I got more bronze that day than I have ever gotten total. <laughs> or than I had left over, I guess I should say. Probably had more than that total. Where am I even keeping my, I guess I'm keeping my geode opening type things in here. So we'll do that. We have a little bit of energy left today. So maybe I will go through and try to destroy some stuff. Yeah, there's multiple mines. There's like, it's like the earth, wind, water, and fire mines. Yeah, so there is more than just the one that we were in. You can name the chest. Oh, people were telling me that last time. I haven't named them yet. I probably should, huh? I'm not very smart for not naming them. Trash. Okay. You're starting to feel tired, okay? Let me just get a little bit of it more, okay? Thank you, sorry. Oops, now we're gonna go really slow. <laughs> Why stay sexual in five months? Yeah, so many cozy games that I wanna play and only so much time, huh? It's okay. 
We will get through them eventually. Um, no. 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 Gosh. So this one we'll call like, why do I have a bug? Um, materials. Maybe I should, no, I guess I'll just keep them there. I need to have like probably a separate mines chest eventually. This is the problem with first starting out. You don't really know what you're doing. Um, tools and stuff that I need to bring with me places. This one is like, stuff. You know? And this one is from the ocean. Okay. Did I donate the bug yet? Yeah, that one is donated. Oh, I know you can't. Sorry, my face cam's covering it. I donated that bug. I'm keeping it extra. Not the butterfly. Which one? I know I just sold a butterfly, but I've... Donated it already, yes. Oh, I haven't donated the butterfly. Oops. I thought I donated it already. I didn't. Don't need to keep the flyer, by the way. Oh, really? Okay. I didn't know. Can put it in the recycling machine to make scrap? Okay, I will do that then. <laughs> Brianna, thanks for the 34 months. Fire level three, mason jar, hydro one, makeshift arch, makeshift floor tile. Okay. Catching level one. I have not been doing any catching at all of anything. Okay, I can process it like trash then, which will be fun. Um, good. We shall do that. <laughs> oh, I like this game a lot, Kelsey. I've been having a lot of fun playing with it. I, I thought it was really good so far. Um, I think you will probably like it. Much to grab. I probably need to plant some more too. Oh, that was good. Some of these are like high quality. I need to ship bronze quality fruits and vegetables. And look at that, quality. So, we're off to a good start. Can I rest the scythe? Yeah, everybody keeps yelling at me about that. Oh my God, I didn't mean to do that. Um. Yeah, I, I've caught on because everybody keeps yelling at me about doing it. <laughs> and then I still do it one by one. Um, but it's okay. There we go. I haven't really played much Palea, to be honest. I, I played probably like 10 minutes of Palea. Um, and then something happened, so I got distracted and didn't play anymore. Um, so I haven't really played much Palea, so I can't really give a comparison between this and Palea, to be honest. Um, okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, I'll try and get like eleven seeds to put in there. Okay, you guys said that I can recycle this. Compost bin and recycling machine. Requires two flyers. Oh, silly me. Okay. Okay. Let me go buy some more seeds then. We shall find out. You can craft a jar and make preserves from your crops more money. Oh! Well, that's cool. Oh, it was- it's a giant mason jar. <laughs> oh. I need three. Can I? Huh. Okay. Oh, and I have skill points to add. That's true. Town ring. Available skin skill points for diving. Double kelp. Chance for trash to drop, drop rare resources. Increases the chance of finding artifacts. Which one should I get? Kelp. Okay. 
That's what I was thinking, but I wasn't sure. I have no other available skill points, yeah. Relationship, town rank, oop. <laughs> oop, yikes. <laughs> anyway, I would like Paleo. There's so many games that I want to play that I haven't played yet. It's, there's not enough time. Cause obviously I mostly stream The Sims, so I don't always have um, time to play that many other games. So, okay, bye Hope, have fun. <laughs> See you in a bit. <laughs> We're playing Among Us later, Leone, with some of our Sims friends. That is the plan at four Eastern time. Okay. I would like to shop, what day is it? It's the 19th, okay. Should I just buy a bunch of potatoes? I don't know. Should I buy fertilizer? Or should I not worry about it? I don't know. I don't know. Double stream day? Yeah, we, um, it's, uh, it's a fun one because, uh, I didn't mean to do that. Oh. Yeah, I should have been worrying about that, huh? <laughs> No errands, okay. You can craft it, I think? Okay. I haven't really tried yet. Yeah, I would like to see Jar. I have to figure out when, because uh, I didn't know they were gonna do this, so it's kind of thrown off my schedule, <laughs> but um, we'll see. Is it the 19th there? It's quite like the 20th here? No, it's it's the 20th here. In game, it's the 19th, but in game, it's not related to um, real life. That's confusing, because it's close to real life, but in game it's the 19th. You see the top right corner, it's the 19th. Um, the days go a lot faster in game than it does in real life. So, that would be why. Okay, you say I can craft fertilizer. Oh, you can craft fertilizer really easily. I didn't know that. That's fun. Um, maybe more? Okay. Shall we go to the mines? I might just bring all this stuff in case I need food. Yeah. Barely a gamer, thanks for the 17 months. I appreciate that. Okay. Let's go in. Yeah, you can put it on as soon as long as the seeds were planted that day. It's the same thing in Stardew Valley. Like if they've started to grow by the next day, then you can't put it on. But if you planted it that day, um, you can put fertilizer on. It's kind of how it works. Okay, so I have to do the next 10 levels all today. Because it doesn't save progress, apparently, is what I have been informed. Makes sense. Um, looks kind of like Stardew Valley. Yeah, it definitely is a little bit similar to Stardew Valley. If you like Stardew Valley, you probably like this. It has its own strong suits and stuff and a lot of features that Stardew doesn't have, but it's a lot of fun. And if you like Stardew, you would enjoy it. You can make ropes to drop down a level. Oh, that's nice. I did not know that. Oh my God, can you actually relax? Oh, I don't need to get you, you ran away. Look at these little guys. How dramatic are you? Okay, bye. Yeah, the combat is really easy in this game. <laughs> the mines is hard. I started to stop playing because of it. No, this game, the at least these mines, the early ones are really easy. I have not played the later mines, so I don't really know what the monsters get like later on, but the early mines in this game are really All right. All mines are easy? Okay, good. Um, I kind of wish that they weren't 
as easy, but I know a lot of people that play this style of game are not fans of combat. I'm not a fan of combat, but Stardew Valley is like my level of what I find appropriate combat wise. I actually have a lot of fun in the Skull Caverns in Stardew Valley, so. Um. You can set it so monsters don't care about you till you hit them. Oh, that's cool. That's really promising for people that don't like combat then. Um, Aoife, thank you for the thousand bits. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Oh, you think I have it set in my game so the monsters only attack if I hit first? I'm pretty sure that that monster just attacked me though. The one from the other level. Let's go find out. No, I didn't hit it and it attacked me. I experimented and the answer is that thing attacked me unprovoked. But that's okay. They're easy to avoid, so. <laughs> I'm not that worried about it. I keep trying to hit the like smaller rocks because they're, they require less energy because they're only one hit. I don't know if that's a good feeling. Yeah, you just be really close to them to get attacked then. So it shouldn't be too bad if you're like not a fan of combat. Um. Ooh, jump in. Been too scared to face the skull caverns. Is it very difficult for someone who's bad at combat? Um, I think it'll be very difficult for you, especially at first. Um, I don't think that I'm good at combat in games, but I feel quite confident in the Skull Caverns in Stardew Valley because I've like practiced a lot, I guess. Um, Stardew Valley is about my limit when it comes to combat in games, <laughs> but a lot of people think that fishing is very difficult in Stardew Valley and I can fish like pretty well in Stardew Valley too. But I, I think that those are all things that come with practice. Like it just takes you some time to get... Can I not attack you? I'll just leave it alone then. Um, but it would, it'll probably be hard for you at first for sure. Um, but I, I wouldn't like count yourself out from being able to do it. I think you will be able to do it. It's just gonna take some practice and that's fine. Um, you just need to make sure you come in there prepared. Like if you're gonna go to the Skull Caverns in Stardew Valley, bring like go a good weapon, bring a lot of good quality food, bring a lot of bombs and stuff so that you can escape easily. Cause sometimes you have to run. <laughs> sometimes it's, it's worth just uh, like dipping with a ladder if some of the monsters are too difficult, you know? Um, so just good to be ready. It takes time. Um, Abs, thank you for the 23 months. And you might end up liking it, you know, like after you've played it, cause I like it now. So if you've got some ladders so you can escape in time of danger, you'll be all right. <laughs> okay. If you need help with that too, you can try and watch like what the speedrunners do when they do the skull caverns and like see what their tips are for playing. Like see if you can watch someone on YouTube do it. And then you'll you'll like learn how to prioritize stuff in the skull caverns in Stardew. There's a yellow geode on the right. Oh yeah, I didn't get that. I thought about that as soon as I pressed go in, I saw it and I was like, oops, I probably should have grabbed that, but I didn't. And now I'm here. So, oh well. Would you please not attack me? That was like so messed up. I'm serious. I don't know what you think you're doing. I don't wanna have to kill you. <sighs> Speedrunners use ammo, like explosive ammo mostly. Yeah, I don't use the explosive ammo ever in Stardew Valley. <laughs> I just use my sword and a bunch of bombs to, to destroy stuff and I run down. Explosive ammo is good for speedrunners, but maybe not for the average player. Uh, Melissa, cranky, thank you for the subs. Okay, thank you. We are now on level 38. Okay. 640, I've got plenty of food. We should be like at the bottom of this today. This will be fine. Oops, yay. 
39. Does anyone know where Sims Sunny is usually located? Someone thought, they Someone thought they meant my cat. Sunny is in fact a character in this game and the name of my cat. So understandable confusion. You're starting to feel tired. No. The ladder is usually where the monsters are. Is that true? Cause if so, that makes things like way easier. Any monsters down here? There's only one. Oh, no, here we go. Ladder? Die. No, this game's not on Switch yet. It won't be on Switch until next year, yeah? Which is soon, hopefully, but it won't be on Switch yet. I feel bad when I kill those little ones. Oh, that one was right next to a <laughs> monster, so... <laughs> Whoa. Maybe it is- maybe it is that they- because they probably have more than one ladder spawn per level, possibly. So maybe some of them do spawn near monsters, but they don't always spawn- like, there also might be some not near monsters. You know? I did it. Okay, now what? Hello. Interesting. Is it good stuff what I just got? Okay, I'll look into it in a second. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Hey, Mitch, welcome to the stream. It's good to see you. Glad you can make it today. <gasps> Hi. Oh my God, you're so cute. Human succeeded. Curse it is that make giant stone. Clear it, human have. Excited to see other giants I am. Oh, I'm excited to meet them. Uh, giant later come. Upstairs earth giant is, okay? Come, all right. Let's go see. Oh, Jen, you got this. I know that's probably really scary, but you're gonna do great. Um, pink lady, Mixie, thank you for the subs. Let me see what this stuff does. A traditional medicinal drink, smell strong, taste even stronger. 300 energy and 130 health. I know my face cam's covering it, but that's really good. And extra stamina for two hours. That is really good stuff. Should I go back to the entrance? The answer is yes. Goom Goom. Didn't there used to be a statue here? Grog statue is there. Free is Grog now. Are those the giants? <laughs> hmm, but where is Grog? Here he is not. Okay. Hello? <gasps> oh, there is Grog. Oh, they hugged! Oh, there he's human! Oh my god, they're so cute! <laughs> Wait, you can see Grog? Yes, but nice human this is. Free Grog because this human. This is Earth Giant Grog. Okay, I Grog. Thank you for freeing Grog. <laughs> You're cute! <laughs> I didn't really know what to expect from the giants. Hmm, still stone is other giant. Curse again, it must be. Hmm, but fire giant where? Free other giants, okay. Wait, will Grog and I in village? Goom Goom human. All right, thank you. You're only small, it's so cute. I like this game. <laughs> Next quest is to free the water giant. And then I assume I go into the water mines. Cool. No, gee, I actually don't have that many hours in this game. Let me check how many I have so I can tell you. Um, I haven't really played it that much. 11. <laughs> I have 11 hours in this game. 
<laughs> which is really not a lot, not a lot. Um, so, open journal to claim reward. Whoa. Oh, Frankie! I don't know how to get my prize. Player, produce, caught, found, extras. Whoa. Notes, badges. It's under task list. Oh, I thought when it said reward that it was something different in the journal and not just the quest thing. I know about how the quests work, but <laughs> I thought it was gonna be something different because it said journal and this is my journal. Sorry everyone, that was foolish of me, but I understood what I was trying to do. <laughs> that was confusing. I knew that the quest had rewards, but I thought it was like an extra reward. <laughs> okay, let's go. Fast travel back home, please. Let's see. Well, probably tomorrow. Oh, I got my pickled turnip. Can't put lettuce in there, that's okay. Um, tomorrow, I guess, well, let me save in here with my tools. I'll save that stuff, cause that's good stuff. Um, oh, sorry everybody, didn't mean to yawn. Earth essence, monster essence. Maybe tomorrow I'll go try and open the geodes and like donate the butterfly and stuff. Might be good. Good use of our time. Suggest upgrading your pickaxe. Yeah, okay, we can try and do that tomorrow too. Um, maybe I'll keep those. I don't know. All right. You don't need the previous upgrade to do a higher tier, really? Oh. That feels like too easy, if so. Okay, I have not upgraded like any tools at all. You think I do? Okay, well I'll upgrade it anyway. Um, I assume that I'm going to need um, to bring some like copper, or sorry, bronze bars. Do I need to get coal? I'm gonna try and make some of these. Which one are you? Make bronze bar. Good. You do have to go in order. Okay, I figured you would. That makes sense. Oh, before they yell. There you go. Oh, those don't need harvested. There we go, see? I did it. Sell that, and then. Um, let me get my watering can. Five bars, 20 wood, okay, we can do that. That won't be too bad. We have wood. Gotta get the bronze bars made. Um, before I buy it, definitely Tiny Living Over Nifty Knitting. Ooh, I don't know, you're making me nervous. <laughs> I would pick Tiny Living Over Nifty Knitting personally, but I don't know what you're, like, what you're into and what your preferences are, but I, I would definitely, me, choose Tiny Living Over Nifty Knitting. It's just so different, like what I like might be not what you like, so. Um, giants forget human can't enter village. Come to village, I open for human. Okay, thank you, Grog. The town is looking for volunteers to attend the tree planting festival tomorrow. If you'd like to take part, stop by between 8 a.m. and 2 p.m. We meet in the forest right behind your farm. We'll start the festival as soon as we have enough volunteers. We could sure use the helping hand of a farmer like you. Okay, I'll be there. That will be fun. Lots of people in chat confirming tiny living too. So that makes me feel better about the recommendation. I like it a lot. It's like one of my favorite, it's probably top two favorite stuff packs for me, but you just like always with, with this sort of thing, people have different preferences, so. Um, all right, I'm going to the shop. That's my step one. 
Maybe I should say hi to people while I'm out here. Do not plant the tree until you get the greenhouse. It will die in the fall. Okay. For my in-game pet, only one of my cats were represented by the choices, so I got a black cat and named it Maybe. What are you going to do? Because all three of yours are represented. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know which cat I'm going to get in-game. I'm not sure. You're looking for one carrot. Can I even grow you a carrot before the season ends? We can try. Seven days. Yeah, that should be okay. Oops, I bought 15 of them. What if you got a lizard? There's one lizard. Oh, I always wanted a bearded dragon. I don't think I'll ever actually get a bearded dragon. I just think they're so cool. <laughs> um, but I don't know. I don't know which pet I would get if I had to choose yet. We'll see. We shall see. Oh, that'll be fun, Cat Lady. That's fun. Yeah, my sister has a bearded dragon. Its name is Nova. And I think that Nova is very cool. I have uh, lizard sat Nova many times in my life. But maybe lizard sitting is, is for me and not so much lizard raising, you know? Maybe that's the way. <laughs> All right. There is one that's, there is a pet that's already named Frankie, which is kind of fun, but I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna try and create, let me get from you a bunch of fertilizer. One, two, three, that'll be fine. Only one of the black cats was solid black. Yeah, I saw Frankie in the, could I see it in the, where was it? Was it in like, I swear I saw a picture of Frankie recently. Yeah, Frankie has a white patch. Kit Kat has no white patch. So I don't know, we'll see. Early stream today? Yeah, I always stream in the morning on Wednesdays. Um, I am usually here at this time on Wednesdays. Go away. All right, you said I need 20 wood for this to upgrade my stuff. I also wanted to open some of my geodes. So maybe I'll go, I've donated that. Maybe I'll try and bring some of the stuff that I have to donate and like some of the stuff we have to open. So we can do that. What does the fertilizer do? It makes the crops higher quality, right? Um, if I come, where's the, here we go. The blacksmith is where I do all of this stuff, right? I think so. Fay Farm or Coral Island, which would you recommend more? Um. So I have played more Fay Farm than I've played Coral Island at this point, but I anticipate in the future playing a lot more Coral Island than Fay Farm. <laughs> I think that Coral Island is a better game overall than Fay Farm. It, Fay Farm is quite lacking in terms of like dialogue and characters, and Coral Island has so much more of that. I really like the fairy aspect of Fay Farm, and I really like the mines in Fay Farm. <sighs> um, but. It's just not, like, I think that Coral Island is a better done game and has, oh my god, upgrade tools. Let's see. Um, just has a lot more going on, so. Let's upgrade the pickaxe. Ready in one day. I also want to process geodes. I don't know. I would get, I would get this game over Fay Farm, though. It's also cheaper, which is a bonus. So. Yeah, and there's so much in this game that I haven't like gotten to yet, obviously, as well. So that's something to consider, too. Okay. 
They has fairies though. Yeah, but like you guys, they're the di like there's no storyline or dialogue with those characters. They just say the same like one sentence over and over again. So I don't know. I find it kind of disappointing in that sense. Fay Farm. Um What's the difference between this game and Stardew Valley? I mean, they're very different games. <laughs> like, um, they have some similar core mechanics because they're farm sims. Um, but, like, the storyline, a lot of the, like, this game has a whole bit about, like, cleaning the ocean and diving and stuff that there is nothing in about in Stardew Valley. If you look at it, they look completely different. Um, so a lot of stuff like that. Completely different about these ones. Um, same genre, but different games in, like, most any other way, so... <laughs> um... Okay... And they certainly look different, yeah? <laughs> They're not all that similar in appearance, are they? <laughs> how long did it say- how long does it take for my, um, tool to be ready? You can't get in a story because of the graphics. I really, I think that Stardew Valley is so charming in the graphic style. I can see why that it might not be appealing to you. Um, but Stardew Valley is is really charming to me. I, I think that it's, um, it's, it's really cool how it's like, oh, I don't have, that's new to me. Should I put it in there or should I put it with, I have like, I don't know. I've been keeping some of these extra things in there. But anyway, I think Stardew is very charming and sort of timeless in that sense. Um, but... Um, for the first update, one day, but the last of the closed Sunday, so you can get it back on Monday? Okay. Sounds good to me. Um, what should we do today, then? Do you guys want to go into the ocean? What should I bring with me into the ocean if I'm going to go in there? We can go into the ocean. Let's do it. Let me see if I can put some of these guys in there. Oops. I'll just bring it with me. I got to bring my bug net before I forget. I don't need a sword. All right, let's go. All right, diving pier. Uh, Kenny, thank you for the six month reset, by the way. Thank you so much. I recommend bringing a donut or two from the coffee stall. I guess I, I probably do have the money, but I don't want to spend it, so I won't. So, here we are. Let's start clearing. I need to play Wildflower still. I would really enjoy it, probably. Gotta give it a shot. Double kelp! Cool. Oh, look at that. Well, that worked out well. <laughs> okay. Am I going to play Paleo? So many questions about Paleo. I haven't played it yet. I would like to play it, yes. I just haven't had the chance. There's so many games that I want to play, not enough time. I started playing Paleo off stream a few weeks ago, or a couple months ago. I guess it was months ago at this point. Um, and I was going to play it. And then... <laughs> I don't even want to tell the story because it's horrible. Basically, um, my dad texted me that he had scheduled so my parents cat passed away a couple months ago he had cancer um it was really horrible and i was sitting there on the weekend about to play a little bit of paleo finally and then my dad's like okay i called the home vet <laughs> he's coming tomorrow <laughs> so when when he passed away they put him down we like had a home vet come so anyway i sort of have like a slight association of of the beginning of paleo with that <laughs> so i haven't played it again yet <laughs> I was, uh, interrupted <laughs> when I finally started playing it, so I haven't played it again since then. Um, I think it's fine. I don't- I'm not, like, traumatized by it. I just haven't played it again since then. So. 
It was a, it was an unpleasant um, <laughs> weekend, <laughs> and I didn't get that far in playing it. And then I said, nah, I'm not gonna play this anymore, because <laughs> that's what I associate it with. So, uh, anyway, <laughs> Patty, thanks for the six months. <laughs> um, yeah, I will, I will like the game though, and I'll play it eventually. I just haven't done it yet. <laughs> Um, no, we're gonna play Among Us later today. We're gonna play Among Us probably, uh, not probably, definitely at 4 Eastern time today. So that's later this afternoon. It's only 10.30 right now. Um, okay. Oh, this is all messed up. I gotta go clear this out. We're underwater, I'm at work, and I was like, what are these sounds I'm hearing? Oh, that would have been so weird, sorry. <laughs> You're just out here wondering what the heck is going on with these noises that are playing out of my game. Okay. That pink thing is salt. You'll need it as an offering. Pink thing is salt. Am I being silly? Where is it? I don't know. I'm starting to feel tired. To the left. Oh, that. Sea salt. Yeah, I didn't know I could pick that up. I assumed that it was like one of those weird rocks on the ground that you can't touch in this, because there's a lot of weird rocks that you can't touch down here. I thought it was that. <laughs> Megan, Maddie, thanks for the subs. Okay. Um. Most of this trash is cleared over this way. Um, oh, I'm really sorry, nuclear. Yeah, I really understand. <laughs> oh, you can mine the rocks, so they just give you stone? I guess that makes sense. Okay, so I already have those two. Oh, oh I need this. Thank you. Pom pom crab. Let me eat this. Chopping on raw sugar cane for energy. I know it's such a weird thing to be doing, isn't it? Um, those are both repaired. Yeah. We have to find somewhere new to go. Oh, I can't get that. Thank you. Where have we been? Oh, I guess farther this way we need to go. Um, not quite there yet. To the right. And then up. Over here. How do you switch time from like AM, PM? Oh, you can do that in the in-game settings. Um, so if you're looking, I don't remember where exactly, but some game time hour format. Yeah, you can swap it there. So if you don't like it, you can switch it because it's in a 24 hour clock by default. Yeah. Um, I, I feel a desire to not use a 24 hour clock. This is one of those, I'm married to a British man situations, you guys, where like Dan uses a 24 hour clock. And so almost out of spite, I don't want to. <laughs> like, so when I can switch it, I do. <laughs> because I think that Dan and, and that habit is stupid. <laughs> Even though obviously a lot of people do, <laughs> it's not abnormal, but it's just like, you know. I stand, so out of spite. Okay, it's 10 p.m. How long do you guys think I should stay down here? Let me move the anchor over here so I come back this way later. Um, we can get out of here. Anyway. Yeah, it's the same as military time, yeah. Don't know what you're talking about. It's 1535 here. <laughs> it kicks you at 11. Oh, okay. 
I guess I could have stayed then. I also have this now. I didn't have that before. So it's easier to get back. From a military family, so you grew up on it? Yeah. <laughs> makes sense. It makes sense. Um, okay. Let's grab this. We'll put some of these things away. I have kelp. I have another pom-pom crab. I've already donated those, so I don't really need it, but... Okay, in here, I have Mysterious Coffer, I have that. Okay, I might save. I've been keeping like tools and stuff that I need to use in here. So maybe I'll save these because they're food and I'll just leave them in that chest. Sell that. Okay. Okay, let's go to bed. Um, my dad is military man and out of spite I refuse to use military time. Military time is what Americans call the 24 hour clock, by the way. Um, I guess mostly just because the only people in the US who use it are in the military, <laughs> so. Um, one of the other things that Dan does that I, like time wise, um, that I just do not ever do or say um, he, he'll always say, like, it's ten till, it's quarter past, it's, like, half past, it's quarter two. Like, he always says that when he's, like, describing the time, and he'll, like, round. So when I would say, oh, it's, you know, ten thirty-seven, he would be like, it's half past ten. <laughs> so, or, like, the medical field or, you know, other people, anyone in businesses where I guess it matters more would use it, but, um, anyway. I refer to as military time, being born and grew up in the UK. Well, that makes sense. I don't think anybody in the UK calls military time. Everybody in the US calls military time. So he lies about the time. Interesting. Yeah. He, but he always says half past, quarter past, but he'll round. That's not what I asked. I wanted to, like, when I asked you what time it was, what I meant and wanted to, where did I put my watering can? What I meant and wanted to know was that it was 1038. Half past. It's ridiculous. British thing, and the British are ridiculous, so, <laughs> sorry. 10.30 is also closer to quarter till, so, well, he probably would say, I don't know what he would say, to be honest, in this particular case. I'm judging him and making fun of him strongly, but, anyway. Okay. Whoa. Okay, it is more fun using the scythe for this. I'll give you that, guys. I know I was um, laughing how everyone was yelling at me about it, but they were actually right, so. <laughs> All right, do you think I can craft more um, sprinklers yet? The sprinklers look different than I expect, so I keep, there we go. Silver kelp, should I use more of my silver kelp to make another sprinkler? Yeah, I'm only in spring of year one. Yeah. Should I? Or am I gonna need a silver kelp for something else? Yes, okay. Thank you, that was all I needed to know. Um, I guess I'll just put it here and then I'll buy a couple more seeds to put around it. All right, maybe I'll buy like one more for there, and then one, two, three, four, five more for there. Okay. Okay. Sounds good to me. Um, you will get lots of kelp. Okay, good. Kara, Flood, and Big Queen, and Mari, thank you for the subs. You start in spring in this season. Um. I haven't uh, gotten that far, like I was saying. Lady Beetle. Um, in here. I won't forget the festival. What time did the festival start at? Oh, there's no... There's a festival. I forgot. 
and you're not even open right now. 12 to 5. It's Sunday. My microphone covers the where the like time and day is. It covers it exactly. So I have to <laughs> lean so I can see it. <laughs> you going to make mince pies on Christmas Eve? Okay, here's my thing about mince pies. This is important to discuss. I haven't made any mince pies yet this year. And it's also been... This, this would be the first year that I wouldn't make mince pies, but I don't like them and Dan only kind of likes them, but I kept making them the past couple years because it was fun for me to try a new thing and like make something fancy. Um, but I feel like I should just do it. Anyway, but I don't like them, so. <laughs> There's not meat in mince pies. Mince pies are dried fruit. Maybe thinking of something else. They're a little dried fruit. Sounds like it would have meat in it, and it did back in the day. Where do I go? The forest? Where? They call it mince meat, but it's not meat. It would have had meat back long, long, long ago, but now it's just fruit. So, your work sold me meat mince pie? Ew ranch oh where everybody is okay yeah i guess that makes sense <laughs> um start tree planting yes why not for you mince pies are usually with mince meat like beef or steak yeah this is like a british christmas thing and it's fruit um so Ever baked an apple pie? Yeah, I've made lots of apple pies in my day. We made an apple pie last year at Christmas time. I don't know what I'm gonna bake on the baking stream for Christmas yet this year. We'll see. And especially you, Kayla. I'm glad to see you made it. Thank you. And look at this turnout. It looks like we have just enough volunteers. Let's get going, folks. I'll share more details when we arrive, okay? Um... Okay, in we go. Pesto puff pastry Christmas trees. Oh, that's gonna be so good, Hope. I love that. Yeah, we're gonna do a Christmas build this week. That is the plan. Um, what day did I say? On Saturday, the 23rd, is when. Um. Cool. Do you celebrate Boxing Day with Dan? Yeah, I guess. Here's the thing. My family never has, and also Shrimp has a, um, a vet appointment on Boxing Day. <laughs> it's the day after Christmas, um, which is a holiday for him, but never has been here. So Dan, when, they, when the vet booked it, because uh, exactly two weeks after Shrimp's neuter was Christmas Day, so they want us to come in the day after Christmas, obviously, because they're not open on... Christmas day, um, to just like check that he's healing. Okay. Um, and Dan was like, Oh my God, they're open on the 26th, <laughs> which was kind of funny to me, but yeah, it makes sense. Um, here we are. What's left of it in the woods. Oh, illegal logging did serious damage here, but that's about to change. The governor has just given jurisdiction of Pearl Woods over to Starlet town. And that's why we're holding this temporary event this year. Oh, we're going to completely reforest Pearl Woods. Oh! So let's get to it and go plant some trees. That's nice. The 26th, the second Christmas day. Yeah, I mean, basically, people just, like, spend time with their family, don't they? Um, on the 26th. Um, but not really a thing here. So... It's to get over Christmas day. There you go. Okay, um, I guess I'll talk to everybody. Healthy to get outside the town once in a while. A change of environment is good for the soul. Emily and I brought the same kind of tree seeds today. Glad to see you here, golden moth. Whoa. Was the first Thanksgiving weird for Dan? I don't think so. I mean... I think the first Thanksgiving Dan ever came here for, we went to my grandma's house and we don't normally go to my grandma's house for Thanksgiving. 
So it was like kind of weird that year because we went to like up to, um, not Chicago, but my other grandparents in Charleston, Illinois for Thanksgiving. So it was kind of weird for everybody that Thanksgiving. Um, but that was definitely like a traditional Thanksgiving more so than like he would have here at my family's house, you know? Because usually I cook for Thanksgiving and there's no meat and everything. Um, but anyway, I think that was kind of interesting for him. Okay. <sighs> Pamphlet, what do we do today? Main activity, tree planting. I don't even know what a person would do on a day like today. Oh yeah, I heard about you. Yeah. Um, guys, what are you supposed to do at this event? I don't know. Hi, Walter. There's also a shop where you can buy things. Oh, good. Um, tree planting. No. No. When you're ready to start, talk to Connor. Oh, <laughs> that's right there. Stage A, clear all the debris in the area to move to the next stage. Oh, till a two by two spot on all the mark ground you come across, move on to the next stage. Find the tilled areas in the stage and plant your allotted sapling to finish the tree planting festival. Okay. Oh, clear area A. Um, guys, I didn't bring anything to till the ground. Am I in trouble or does it just give it to you? This whole area is A. Oh, okay. Oh! Whoa. I'll get it in the next stage, okay. That's fine then. Glad they give me tools, it makes me feel better. I was nervous that I messed up. Am I gonna run out of energy? <laughs> Am I gonna be okay? I guess I should have cleared up here then. Well, this is nice, this is relaxing. I actually kind of like just going through and clearing stuff. This is fun. The festival so far, the other one was pretty fun too with the, the little race. So, no energy to vent. Oh, it's not going down. Okay, good. So it doesn't matter. It doesn't look like it's affected. Do I get to keep all this stuff? These materials? Because <laughs> that would be nice. All right. You guys bringing up the mince pie thing a second ago just made me realize that I have not made like a grocery shopping list or decided what I want to do for my baking stream yet. Um, so I need to figure that out. That is kind of important, I guess. <laughs> I'm gonna need to um, make a plan. Oops. Okay. Yay. That wasn't that bad. Yay! Let's till the soil. This is cool. Make a Yule log. We did do that for Rick Astley's birthday and it went quite well. So we could do something like that again. Oreo cookies. My dad really likes these Oreo cookies that I make sometimes. Um, they're like soft Oreos, but homemade. So they taste kind of like a brownie, but in like a sandwich cookie. I kind of want to make something like, like dad, I can make those Oreo cookies just for fun, but I kind of want to make something like fancy that I don't normally bake for the baking stream is kind of the idea that I normally have with those. Like a weird fancy cake or like a weird fancy pie that I wouldn't normally do, you know? Like we did those apple pies 
last year. And that was fun. What kind of pie do you like, Dad? Do you like any pie? <laughs> Danny, thanks for the sub gift to Tony, by the way. Um, but cookies are always a good idea. Cannot use item here. That area will be covered by other teams. Okay. Sure. Um, I, Morgan, I think that when the 1.6 update comes out, I'll probably make a new Stardew Valley save. I will come back to the expanded mod, don't get me wrong. Like, I love that. I love Stardew Valley, as we all know. Okay, you can't. Oh, it's just being weird. Um, I will play, don't worry, the expanded mod again. But I think that when the 1.6 update comes out, I would like to play from the beginning vanilla, just so we can, like, really see all of the stuff. You don't know what kind of pie you like? I don't like pie. What kind of pie does mom like? I don't know. We'll see. Oreo pie. Oh, I've never tried a thing like that. You can't really go wrong there, can you? Pie's overrated. Yeah, I just don't like... That's a wrap, folks. We did it. The first area is all planted. It was a lot of work, but our efforts will pay off. So you do you like slowly work on this every year? Oh, that's so cool. And the trees will be grown. It's going to be all green. Oh. That's so fun. I really like that. That's such a cute detail of this game. Okay. Where's the shop then? That I can buy stuff from at this place. I want to talk to people. And next year more people come. Well, that's cool. That is cool. Okay. The shop should be behind Sunny. Oh, this way. No. That's not Sunny. <laughs> Well, that explains it. Oh, over here. <laughs> Guys, I wonder where the shop is. <sighs> oh, interesting. You can get stuff on sale. I'll buy something so I can support them. It does say shop right there. So that does kind of, that does make sense, I guess. I would say, oops. Um, and fertilizer too. Oh yeah, there's like the good stuff. Should I buy any of that? Swedish cinnamon twist. Oh, you know what we did last year? That I totally forgot about this. On the baking stream last year, we made cinnamon rolls um, so that I could have them rise. And then I, I baked them on Christmas morning. So it was kind of like a prep work thing. Um, but we did make cinnamon rolls for Christmas last year. Um, how many should I buy? Like 10 of the good stuff? Maybe. I don't want to spend too much money. But yeah, we can do, we'll do cinnamon rolls again. Because that's one of those things that won't take like that long. So we could do like two things, like cinnamon rolls and something else. But that was really nice because I, um, I brought the cinnamon rolls over to my parents' house on Christmas morning. Um, what we did last year on Christmas is, um, because Dan's family was here and, um, my my siblings wanted to have like because <laughs> we've spent like christmas with everybody for most of the part most of it but my siblings wanted to have like the you know just us kids and my parents christmas morning um so dan's family had a christmas morning here at our house and i went to my parents house which was kind of weird i guess but it was just like a weird time because it was like my parents first time meeting his parents and stuff but anyway i i made like two pans of cinnamon rolls and i left some here for dan's family to cook and then I brought the other half to my parents' house and we cooked them there. And then everybody came over afterward and we spent the rest of the day together all together. Um, but that was nice, I thought. I thought it was a good way of doing it. So, <laughs> I don't know. Okay, trash, coal, stone, glass. Okay. Ever heard of monkey bread? Yes, my grandma used to make that. It's like, um... 
like little balls of cinnamony dough when you it's like pull apart yeah my grandma used to make that i haven't made that in ages that's a fun one i don't think i have the seeds in there i think yeah they're in here i'll put that there too okay that's good let me show you guys a picture i've never seen it before maybe i could try and make some of that that looks good i don't have a like a bunt pan look at this you guys but it's like little balls of dough and then you pull apart and it's all cinnamony and delicious brown sugar butter topping and biscuits that have been tossed in cinnamon whoa maybe we should make something like that perfect excuse to buy a bunt pan yeah here's the problem when my mom asked me for a Christmas list, <laughs> I, I asked her for stuff like that. So I might be getting a bunt pan for Christmas. So I probably shouldn't buy one because that was on my Christmas list. So I might be getting one, <laughs> but we could always do it after because that could be fun to do as a baking stream. Hmm. Okay. What do you guys think of carrot cake? I've never made carrot cake. That could be fun. Borrow hers. I guess I could borrow one. Yeah, that's true. We make cinnamon rolls and monkey bread. <laughs> so we have both. <laughs> could you imagine? Is that too much? Maybe. We're going to do a baking stream, yeah, on Christmas Eve. So. Did you really go that? I love, I love to bake, though. So stuff like that is a, it's a, I think a good Christmas gift list sort of thing grandma how are you doing sweetheart i heard coral island is beautiful this time of year grandpa ashley and i miss you very much here's some money for you it is much we hope it's useful isn't much five hundred dollars what are you talking about grandma isn't much do people make carrot cake for christmas we could try to make carrot cake i've never made carrot cake before Hold on. The Curious Chickpea, Easy Vegan Carrot Cake. Are those raisins? Wait, hold on. I'm scrolling so I can see the ingredient list. Walnuts, it's walnuts. I won't be doing that. There was, in the picture there was lumps. I won't be putting, I don't do walnuts. That's not for me. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Maybe I'll make a carrot cake. I don't know, I need to think about it. I'll, I'll talk to my family and see what people wanna eat. <laughs> and then I'll, I'll figure out a plan of what we'll bake. So, we'll, we'll, we'll see. Yeah, I would leave the walnuts out for sure. I don't really like walnuts. Never have. You put candied walnuts in yours and it was delicious. I believe you. Walnuts, they're just not for me, you know? Okay, it is Monday. We do need to go today and get some more seeds and also pick up my pickaxe. Um, should I upgrade another tool while I'm here? What tool should I upgrade next, if not my... Your character never has nuts. Yeah, I'm sure it's just one of those things that some people put nuts in. People put nuts in a lot of stuff and not everybody does, so. Upgrade my scythe next. Okay. Do I also need to have five bronze bars and probably 20 wood to do it? Just bring all of it, to be honest. I assume. Absolutely the scythe, apparently, okay. That's kind of what I was thinking too, but you never know. So I wanted to ask people just in case. 
Just in case, I felt it was good to confirm. Okay. Make compost, make scrap. All right, put those back. Let's go. Time to get ready. Oh wait, do I need to, I might have some stuff that I wanted to open, like geodes to open or whatever. Yes, four of these. Okay. Um, well, I don't know who we're gonna raid yet, Space. I'm not getting off stream just yet. I usually don't think about who I'm gonna raid until I'm actively ending stream, because if I make a decision now, who knows if they'll still be live by the time I actually leave, you know? So we never decide who we're gonna raid before we do it. Yeah, can I post the recipes? I usually put them like in the Discord and in the chat. Like we have like a bot command in the chat with the recipes, so when we're doing it. Um, and then I'll post them. I'll probably, once I figure it out, which might be today, I'll post them for you so we can all see. Your mom loves peanuts and brownies. I don't want nuts and brownies. I don't like it. I don't like it. Cereal's on sale. Nice. Nice. I'll just get this one and buy her a pastry forgiveness if I got it wrong. Oh, I like seeing what people grocery shop for. Pastry sounds good. Are you sure you can't decrease the price of these cinnamon rolls? You know I'm buying in bulk for the inn. Besides, you live there. If you plan on buying this much regularly, I'm sure we can discuss something, but I'll need to speak to Sam first to make sure everything is above board. That sounds good to me. Uh-oh. Eating a Pop-Tart as we speak? Nice, Christine. Hey, what are you doing? That's mine. <laughs> Everybody's fighting. No, I saw it first. What are you talking about? I walked through that door first. Sure, you might have, but I was definitely here right in front of the shelf before you. Uh oh. You and that rich lady like of yours? No way. Whoa. You know I keep myself in shape by tending to my very healthy and very plentiful farm. Unlike whatever you call that patch of weed you have in your house. <gasps> Ladies, that's enough. You're causing a scene. I'm scared. Here you go. I found some more amaranth flower in the back, so there should be enough for both of you. Good to hear, Sam. I know I can always count on you. I don't like fighting. It stresses me out. I'll take a bag of that flower then. Okay. What do Pop-Tarts taste like? That is a good question. <laughs> I mean, it's different depending on the flavor. They're... A... Sort of... Pastry, but also cookie-like. And they have, like, fruit filling and some... Hard frosting on top. Kind of like crumbly cardboard covered in sugar, but in a good way, according to Scotty. And I, I agree with that, actually. I think that's a good way of putting it. Okay, should I grow? Maybe I'll get some more potatoes. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> you hate Brie so much. That's funny because my reaction was that I loved her. I like it when they bully me. Only edible warmed up. Yeah, I haven't had Pop-Tart in ages, but I used to like the um, the chocolate chip ones. It just had like chocolate filling and like a swirl of chocolate frosting. I don't like the frosting on them that much, but I guess without the frosting, they're kind of gross. I just, I, don't, I haven't had them in a while. But yeah, Christine, I stand by that. Retrieve upgraded tools. Okay, let me process this mysterious coffer. Masquerade mask. Bronze kelp. Bronze kelp. Scrap. 
ancient compass. Okay. And then I want to upgrade tools. We were going to upgrade my scythe first. Ready in one day. Okay. I'll be back here tomorrow. See ya. Only girls can be mean to us. <laughs> I mean, that actually is a true observation. Yeah. When Mark in this game called me a garden rake, enemy. Boo. When that lady Brie bullied me and called me poor, I kind of liked it. <laughs> okay, let me donate these things. I think I haven't donated either of them, right? No. All right. <laughs> Jeez, thanks for the 47 months. <laughs> Um, here you go. Here you go. All right, slowly making some progress. We're getting a bunch of these artifacts placed around here. It's kind of cool. All right. Let's go back to the house and plant the stuff I just got. And then maybe I'll go to the mines or something today. We shall see. We shall see. Um, you miss much audio thanks to your dog barking. Oh, <laughs> can't hear. Dog's busy talking. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, perfect. Well, by next season, we'll be able to have more of these sprinklers and it's gonna look better. And I'll be happy again. Go away, go away, go away. Go away. Um, I'm gonna need this. I have my new pickaxe, it looks good, doesn't it? All right, I guess I'll just bring... Do I need to keep any of this? I guess I don't have, oh, I have one of them. Well, it wouldn't hurt to keep a couple backup plans of those things, because I can bring, like... Oops. Maybe I'll bring to the mines, like, these guys as food. Alright. <laughs> I could never date Scott because he has a Kickstarter for his passion project. Meanwhile... <laughs> Passion Project Museum. Meanwhile, the ocean is dying and he's taking people's money for a T-Rex stand. <laughs> oh, you're right. You think Pop-Tarts are too sweet? Oh yeah, I don't, I don't really, I didn't like them that much even when I did used to eat them more when I was little. I didn't eat them a lot, you know, it was like occasionally sometimes you convince your mom to buy them or whatever, you know? Um... So, tiny living is so OP. Oh, you know what? I'm so glad to have the update from you after buying the pack and coming back and liking it. <laughs> That's great. All right. This is my first time in these new water mines. Exciting. And I still have to be the one who provides the T-Rex. Yeah. Devastating. Okay, so we're thinking we'll make the cinnamon rolls and the monkey bread, which really deep down are very similar, but that's fine <laughs> for, for, for our Christmas baking stream. And uh, do you think we have maybe like a cookie? We could do a cookie as well. That might be good. Okay, I think I can make that work. Finally. Tragic, thanks for the 28 months. All right. It's your birthday today. Hey, happy birthday. That's exciting. Lots of cinnamon. Let's make a cinnamon. You know what? Let's make a cinnamon cookie. <laughs> Monkey bread is a deconstructed cinnamon roll. Yeah, I know. But we'll have one of them that day and the other one the next day. Like, I'll, I'll bake the monkey bread that day to eat that day, and I'll save the cinnamon rolls to eat on Christmas morning. Snickerdoodles, could you imagine? <laughs> we just make, like, the same thing in three different forms. <laughs> oh. 
Oh, I don't know. I think I want to try something different. We made snickerdoodles in our last baking stream. As like a time fail as well. What's your favorite kind of Christmas cookie? Chat. Snickerdoodles are just like a cinnamon sugar cookie. So. Making cinnamon muffins later. Ooh, I made chocolate chip muffins a couple weeks ago and they were so good. The butter cookies in the tin, yeah. Just sugar cookies, peanut butter blossom. Gingerbread, I don't like gingerbread. We, last year, I made a gingerbread house from scratch. I feel like I haven't had time this year to do that. Um, I would have, I thought about doing a second baking stream today. Like I would have done it today, this afternoon, except then we moved Among Us to today. Um, so it kind of threw off the schedule. But I really liked making that gingerbread house from scratch. I might do that just for fun, even if I do it off stream. Um, Cause I really like doing that. Oops. Okay, come on. Die. Thank you. Thank you. I'm on level, level four. Okay. Don't know what last time I got with the kitties. Well, the kittens don't get on my counters. The kittens get on the kitchen island, but they don't get on the other counter. So I'm not too worried about it. Um, but maybe we would have to worry about it. I don't know. Um, they don't get on the back counters yet. I guess that's true. Um, I guess that's true. You never know with those kids. Um, okay. Um, I like trying to take pictures of stuff, everybody. Your cat's full of stuff on my other counters. Oh, really? Yeah, I am. Um, I don't really have a problem with it. Like, they don't do it that much. They started doing it when Sasha was over at my house, I think, because they were showing off. Um, and they they more so want to sit on the bar stools at the island. And they'll stand on the counter occasionally, but they don't really get on the counter. I don't think that they, like, find it that interesting. So that's lucky, I guess. Um... Didn't Shrimp find himself on the tree yesterday? Oh, oh yeah. Shrimp was at the very top of the Christmas tree yesterday. Sunny used to be the one who was doing it. And yesterday, Shrimp climbed to the very top of the Christmas tree. So, yeah, we'll stream on New Year's Eve again. I always stream on New Year's Eve, it's kind of fun. So we'll definitely do that again. Um, we've done it many years in a row now, so I would like to do it again. We use the Animal Crossing countdown too, which is always kind of fun. Um, oopsie, how could he have ended up there? Well, that's what, honestly, that's what I'm asking because Shrimp was sitting next to me on the couch and then I swear to you, all of a sudden I look over, he's at the top of the tree. Let me see if I can show you a picture that is, if it has too much reflection, I can't show you. Oh, I can show you my Christmas tree. Here we go. Ready? It's a black cat, so you might not be able to tell, but, um... Top of the tree. Top of the Christmas tree. So. Yeah. Silly ornament. Yeah, I have a couple fun ones. I have a minion as well. This one, my brother painted that. Brett made that. So, I have a couple of these that say my family's dog's names. This one I got from a thrift store and it says 1991 on it. <laughs> it's like a little hedgehog thing and it says 1991, <laughs> except I wasn't even born then. <laughs> so, I like Christmas ornaments. I think they're kind of fun. This one, um, Dan's mom got us this for our anniversary I think and it says it's like made out of paper it's like a little pine cone I was stressed that he was up there I put a lot of the ones that I was worried about the cats getting to up high like that one because it's kind of special um that one is looks like a cat toy so <laughs> this one is high school musical it's like a locker and it used to sing but I got it from the thrift store and now it's broken 
so it doesn't sing anymore. But there's a hope ornament. It says hope. Yeah, it's over here somewhere. It's a St. Jude ornament. That one's Mario Kart. I know you can barely tell. But it's like Bowser on a little car from Mario Kart. So. <laughs> anyway. Oh, oh, look. This one. I don't know if you can tell. It's two Lego hot dogs. Look at this. It's like a Lego man in a hot dog suit. Two separate people sent those to my P.O. box. One's big and one's small. And they're keychains, but I put them on the tree. So, and then this one um, is an ornament as well. Its name is Shrimp. <laughs> so. <laughs> you have a KK slider ornament that sings? Really? I need to get some Animal Crossing ornaments. I like that idea. That's fun. Obsessed with the minion? Yeah. <laughs> I like the minion too. <sighs> Okay, let me grab all this. I don't like how that silver ore looks. Looks like a little silver potato or something. I do still have my PO box. Yeah, the my mods can put the address in chat. It's exclamation point mail. So. Um, you're starting to feel tired. I'm only level six, so you can't be tired yet. We gotta keep going. Oh, I got one of the Taylor Swift ornaments for Madison for Christmas, and then on the drive home, she told me the lyric the ornament references she doesn't like. <laughs> Wait, that's really funny. You bought this nice ornament thinking she was gonna like it, and then it turns out she doesn't think the lyric is sweet and she doesn't like it. <laughs> well, now it's gonna be funny because you got her a, um, an ornament that she doesn't like. That is assuming the ornament gets here before Christmas. Has it arrived? Because I bought a couple Taylor Swift ornaments too, and they haven't even shipped. So, I'll have them for next year. If we're lucky, they might get here by December 2024. Yours arrived. Oh. Taylor Swift. You break my heart. Okay. <laughs> also, vegan Anna, thank you for the subs. What? Which one was it? Can we find out? You got your Sims postcards. Oh, that's lucky, Christine. I'm glad. I'm really glad. I've got all my Sims merch in the mail now. Oops. I couldn't believe how long it took for your postcards to come. Forever is the sweetest con, which to me is sweet and like forever isn't real because we will perish, but we're here for now. But she thinks it means those people will break up. <laughs> so you got her a lyric, you got an ornament for her with a lyric that she thinks is about breakups. Oh my God. <laughs> See, that's funny. That's a good gift. I think she'll like it. I think she'll like it a lot. I'm gonna give, wait, is my dad still here? I should be quiet, Never mind. I was gonna give my dad one of my Sims merch things that I bought for Christmas. Maybe I shouldn't say which one. He might still be here. He also might not be, hard to say. Um. I bought literally everything from the Sims merch store, so I'm kind of um, spreading that stuff out throughout my family. So, didn't I say in the review video? Oh, did I? Oh, then never mind. Doesn't matter. He doesn't watch my videos though, so I don't need to worry about it too much. He hasn't typed. Usually, if I say, "Is my dad here?" he'll say, "What?" Let me check the viewer list. Oh, he's not here, it's fine. I'm gonna give him the hat. I don't wear hats, my dad wears hats. It doesn't really matter, it's probably guessable, but. <laughs> I'm gonna give him the little Sims hat. Cause he wears a lot of hats. So I thought that would be nice for him. He'll actually get use out of it, you know? 
It was the socks, wasn't it? No, I don't- I'm not gonna give him the socks. I could, though. I could give him the socks. He'd probably use them. I wouldn't. So. Is there an Elsa thank you for the subs? Um. I don't understand why a lyric about a breakup was made into an ornament. I agree, Hope. I don't think she intends it to be. I, I think that your interpretation of it, um, I, I think that you're correct in your interpretation of it. And I, I think that like, why would she make a breakup lyric in her? Oh, it's midnight. Candy, tree seeds. Oh, that's good stuff. Like, why would she put a breakup lyric on an ornament? Well, she probably didn't put a breakup lyric on an ornament. Some person who made the the merch. I don't think that she's involved in that at all. Unfortunately. So, I bet she doesn't even know what she sells. Do you think Taylor Swift has Taylor Swift ornaments on her Christmas tree? Serious question. <laughs> I don't know. You think she handcrafts all her merch? I don't know, Navarro. So people always say stuff like that. They'll be like, Taylor Swift doesn't control her merch. UMG does. But like, because she tells them to. Like, she just doesn't want to be involved. So she has someone else do it. But like, if she wanted to be more involved, any artist could be more involved in their merch. Like, it's, I mean, it's similar to YouTubers. Like, a YouTuber could be like, I don't want to be involved in the merch designs, just make something, and then, like, I'll approve it, and then you can sell it, like, if they wanted to do that. Other YouTubers might be more directly involved in, like, the process of deciding what goes onto the merch store, but... I, like, she's not being, like, forced against her will to sell bad merch, <laughs> you know? Like... <laughs> um, she could sell whatever. Um... And she could be involved in it more if she want, really wanted to be. Um, okay. Yeah, this thing makes me feel weird. Oh, this is full. Maybe I should make another chest that I can put like a lot of the um, like essences and stuff. Like all the, those are maple seeds that don't belong in here. Maybe I could get like these cursed fragments and like the slime goop. Maybe the essences can stay in there. I don't know, but these guys, all the monster stuff we could put in one chest together. I'm just gonna put it in this chest that I've called my things chest for now. I need to reorganize. I'm stressing myself out. Maybe I could craft bigger chests now. Let's find out. Extractor, stone path, makeshift chest. Yeah, no, I only have the makeshift chest. It's okay, we can spend some time trying to reorganize them another time. Remember to offer the monster loots to the temple? Oh, I haven't done that at all. Hmm. Should I go over there and find out? the 23rd today. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Harvest that too. Nice sugar cane. Did I finish the spring bundle? I don't remember. Can you see it from here? Do I have to go over there? I might have to go over there. That's okay. We shall check. been playing this game very chill and at my own pace. <laughs> Taz, thank you for the 30 months! I'm not really paying attention. Bring five rock salt. I don't think I have five. I think I only have two. Oh, I have six. Okay. We can bring five. Why do I think I only had two? We have way more than two. Silly me. Should I get some more plants to plant? Sea salt, not rock salt. Yeah, I knew what you meant. Don't worry, Hope. <laughs> Don't worry. I knew what you meant. A lot more faster hall points by doing the temple offerings. Yeah, I know. I need to work on it more. I do have one for this, yeah. So we can go check easily. 
And one of our errands asked for a carrot as well, so I have to go bring that too. Freshwater fish, I've not even touched this. Ocean critters. Oh, I have a pom-pom crab. Spring season, ocean loot. Well, that's good. Yeah, we finished the spring one and the essential resources. Forgot to water one plant. I'm gonna be going back, don't worry. Day insect, I hate insects. I don't wanna do these. I don't have any animals. I have not done any cooking. Pickles, monster essence, slime goop, silky fur. Oh, I could bring some of those over soon. I don't have tough meat though. Okay, cool. Let me see about, for quests, I had to, oh, I didn't claim the reward for that. I need to deliver one carrot to Ben. Go to the giant village, free the water giant. Okay. Let me see if I can go find Ben then. Guys, which one's Ben and where would he be? Oh no. Don't know the characters well enough yet. Ben! Okay. So I'll come back to my house. You can track them from the character menu? Oh, that's helpful. Okay. He was like right here, right? Blonde guy. Hello, Ben. I have a carrot for you. Are you still there? Yeah. <laughs> Little thanks for the five months. Ben. Oh, he's talking to a chicken. Saw one of the statues isn't. Oh, yeah, one of the statues isn't in the cavern anymore. I fixed it. Oh, I don't need to talk to you. I just need to give this to you, don't I? Stop. Give quest item. Thank you. Claim reward. Yay! All right. That's no chicken. That's fun bucket. Oh. That is fun bucket. Okay. It's a little duck. <laughs> okay. Sure. Sounds good to me. Alrighty. Um, I think what I'll do next is come all the way this way because I want to go to the store. Banana seedling. Okay, you guys said I was told in a very panicked voice to save this until I have the greenhouse and to not plant it in the summer. Is that true? Cause I can do that. That would be fine. How much does the next bag upgrade cost? Too much. Okay. You planted yours too? Oh really? Plants it all yours? Does it actually die? You should plant now. Okay, so only one person panicked and told me. You won't get the greenhouse till winter? That's kind of my thought, because we can just buy more of them later. Like, we can just get another one, right? Because it's going to take forever to get the greenhouse. It does die? Okay. Yeah, I feel like it's worth just planting and then getting another one for the greenhouse. I don't know. All I knew is what that one person said, so... There's more fruit trees for other seasons? Okay, that makes sense. So it'll be fine. Oh, I probably should have bought more seeds than I did. That's okay. Only a couple more days. Plant in spring or summer. So I'll just plant it today. I need to put it on tilled soil. Ah! 
Oh, I need to pick up my stuff too from the, um... Bit disappointing when it disappeared. Oh, I can totally see that. Banana, do you have to water it or no? I'm not sure. Oh, you do have to water it, okay. You forget because you don't have to in Stardew Valley, yeah. That makes sense to me. Oh, my watering can's right there. Every day, even when it's grown, okay. Oh. Drama, you used to do it four times. Jeez, okay. That feels a little bit dramatic to me, but it's okay. That's fine. <laughs> All right, so should I go pick up my scythe and then potentially go into the ocean for a little bit? There's seedlings and also saplings in this game. It's kind of confusing. One will die at the end of their season and the others don't need watered and take longer to grow, but don't die. Okay. Okay. You can also use a fertilizer for trees for higher, higher quality fruit. Oh, should I use one of my like, like, cause I bought 10 of those. Um, I bought 10 of those like really good fertilizers. Should I put that on it? On the fruit? Cause it probably is gonna keep growing. So it might be smart to have for like all of summer. Yeah. Okay, I'll do that. Let me go back home. Okay. Jamie, thanks for 21 months by the way. Oh. I probably should have tried to catch you, huh? But I wasn't really paying attention. I am not in the right location to go. I went too far up. That's where I'm. It needs four. Yeah, that's okay. I bought a bunch, so. We can use it. It'll be good. Hi, I want my scythe back, please. Thank you. There are crops that count as fruit. Yeah, we've got a bunch of options, it sounds like. Okay. If you upgrade a watering can of silver, you can water three spots at one time. Yeah, that'll be nice. We'll, we'll definitely get it upgraded soon. Um, we're not quite there yet. Powered all the way through cleaning the ocean. It took you four days. To do the whole thing, it only took you four days. I actually find that quite impressive. I, I missed one seed. Maybe I'll buy one more. Just so I can have it. I won't spend too long in the place. Yeah, I'm gonna invest in sprinklers. We have, I have three sprinklers right now, I think. I wanna get as many sprinklers as I can. I just don't have enough stuff to make them yet. But I will get more. I will get many, many, many sprinklers. Okay, um, I'm lost, you guys. You upgraded your scythe and then almost immediately the next area required two hits again. Oh, that is annoying. Oh. Interesting thing. Okay. Well, should I grab more of these things? Because I guess I can try and sell them. Weird. Yeah, I need the bronze fruit quest still. I only have shipped one bronze quality fruit. <laughs> so we could definitely do with shipping some more. <laughs> Finish the whole ocean with just a silver scythe. I guess that makes sense. Yeah, I agree that it probably should be one hit. It's kind of grindy down here. So then making it like multiple hits makes this a lot less fun. Um. Okay. Maybe I won't spend too long down here and I'll try and clear up more of the beach so we can sell more on the beach. Oh, I think I need that thing for, is that one of the things that you need for the um, quests? Oh, there you go. Like one of the repair things. Where is that gold going to be coming from? Okay. Thank you. How many more of these do we need? Oh. 
The green is what you need to spend later in the ocean. Okay, so I don't need this one. I need one that's way later in the ocean, apparently. Ooh. <gasps> Look at you. You don't understand what's being said. <laughs> Receive scuba snack from Grantol. Whoa. Cool. Hi, Shella. How are you? Well, that was fun. No, this game is not a Switch game um, yet. It will be on Switch, but it's not on Switch yet. Okay, I just wanted to come down here because I was really excited about trying to um, use my new scythe for a little bit, but we don't spend too much time down here today. Oops, please don't run away. Did I lose a little critter? I think I did by scaring it, sorry. Oh. Okay. You're very good today, why? Because you get to murder everyone later? Big day for Shella. She's excited. Oh, my inventory's full. Can I not eat that? Consume tulip. Can I consume anything else? Sea mushroom. Consume sea mushroom. Okay. Lovely. Well, I guess I'll move the anchor over here then, and then I'll try to, um, go up. <laughs> See what we can grab. All right. Um, let's see. My inventory is, in fact, completely full, so I can't harvest more from the beach, but that's okay. We can go and come back, maybe. <laughs> we'll head out and then jump back. That is the plan. Can I just sell these shells? Do I need them? Surely not that badly, right? I don't know. That's to be opened later. These can be foods that I can save for later. Black sea urchin. Just sell them? Okay. Um, before I forget, I also wanted to plant this little guy right here. Okay, and then you guys said, wait, before I also forget, you guys said that if I use my fancy fertilizer on my tree, there we go, that'll be good. Eventually you get a dehydrator for the shells in the ocean, but the shells on the beach are just for money. Okay, that makes sense. No, we don't have any animals yet, Shella. I'm actually really not far into this game, like, at all. <laughs> um, I'm very early still. I haven't played it really that much at all. Cricket! Well, I don't have that yet. I haven't really been catching any bugs. Look at this little guy. Centipede, yikes. Those are both to be donated though. I think we are both not that far. Mm, I'm in spring of the first year though. So I feel like I'm really not far. I'm like super early, 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 early. Granted, I haven't played in a little bit, so. Oh, no, no, come back. Striped garden caterpillar. Okay. Just started summer. Oh, okay. You're at the end of spring year two. Oh. <laughs> You've played a lot though, Christine. I've only played it. I've streamed it like, what? This is the fourth time I've streamed it or something. Third time, maybe. I really haven't played much. No, 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 no. 
I can't get it because I think it's going to run away too fast because I was trying to get the other one. Dang. That's okay. I stood there trying to get the other one. Terrible. I can donate a couple of these guys. Will I make a cottage themed neighborhood for The Sims 4? I don't know, maybe. We've got a lot of opportunity to do some kind of fun stuff, so. Not me in the middle of summer year two? Yeah, I'm really not as far as a lot of you all are. I've barely played. In my defense though, The Sims has been taking over my life recently, more so than usual because of the new expansion pack, so. Any rewards? No. I'll get a reward soon. That'll be fun. Okay. Exciting news chat, I have Oreos. Nice, Copper! <laughs> That's fun, I'm glad. I am glad. Okay. Is this like a survival crafting game? Um, it's more so I would call it a farm sim. But it's fun. <laughs> Are you in an alliance with anyone for today's Among Us? No, definitely not. Oh, did this not need to be donated? Apparently I have donated that. So I can sell her. Keep that one. All right, let's go. Off to bed. Um, one sec, my sister is texting me about, um, the other kitten, their brother Sam, is being neutered today as we speak. So she's texting me asking when uh, Shrimp got a call saying he was done. And the answer is like, right now. So they might call him, call about Sam soon. Um, oh, Tiny! Oh, I caught ya! Come here! How did you know I was talking about your brother? That was so weird. You just appeared. I know you don't want to be held, but you have to be seen. Look, this one's Sunny. <laughs> she came to run across my desk. <laughs> Sunny, come back. Do you want to sit with us? No, you just, you're in a running mood? Okay. She jumped up, ran across, and then ran out. <laughs> She's very busy, apparently. Potatoes. Okay, I will probably not be able to craft or to grow anything else, right? I shouldn't plant anything new. Um before because it's the 24th so hates being held quirk yeah she doesn't want to be picked up <laughs> shrimp is more interested in being picked up than sunny is but at least she showed her face that was very nice of her tiny hello are you back on the desk again <laughs> she might sit back here she might sit on the desk with us um okay let me just water these quick. And this one. Tiny! I'm gonna pick you up again because you came in front of me. Sorry, sweetie. Let me just show you to my friends. Look at how cute she is! You're so small! I call her Tiny. I've called all of them Tinies, but now this one is like really tiny and she doesn't want to be held. Her brother is like twice her size and she's kind of bald because she got spayed recently. So she has a bald spot on her arm and a bald spot on her tummy because <laughs> they had to shave it. So <laughs> anyway, she's only small and she's still on the desk. All right. Um, what now? I don't know. Can I craft anything else important? Probably not. I need to go to the giant village. Over here, I presume. Let's go do that. Are shrimp and sunny healed? Yeah, the vet cleared sunny. She, her um, surgery site is like, Sunny, can I get you? Can I show them your tummy? You probably don't want to show it to anybody, but come here, little one. Let me show them your tummy. I know, I know, I know. You don't want to be picked up. I'm sorry, sweetie. I'm sorry. Can you just let me show them your tummy, though? She's... Hold on. She's got her fur's kind of growing back, and you can't really see it anymore. So you're doing a lot better, sweetie, and you don't want to be held, so you can go back. <laughs> but she's doing a lot better. Um, Shrimp, he had his 
like a week after her. So he hasn't been to the vet to get his like um, fully cleared appointment yet. Um, but he will be. So she's all right. And they're not, um, she doesn't forget him anymore. She remembers who he is again. So she's so tiny, I know. She didn't really like being held, so sorry about that. I came the wrong way. I needed to go to over there. I have to find the log to cross it. There it is. There we go. Didn't really focus on romance until summer. Oh, okay, that's good to know. I haven't started that yet at all. I haven't gifted anyone anything. I don't have like any of that done yet. Spring is about survival. Yeah, the first season, I, I'm i still trying to figure out what I want to do. <laughs> come, come, chieftain, forget human can't enter village like giant can. So grog open way for human, okay. Her eyes are so big. I know, Sunny, my little cat, her eyes are huge. Um, um, okay, come on. Oh, I have to go, sorry. No? Oh, maybe not, I'm waiting. Never mind. Um, Human no can watch. Human go back. Okay. I'll look away. Won't watch. <laughs> oh, sorry. Didn't mean to yawn. Not enough. Human have to close eyes. Okay. You're very confusing. Wait, I can't watch. I'm <laughs> kidding. I like little Grog. They are a fun character. Yeah, Peachy, I like this. I have the Sims hoodie on. I really like it. I think it's really nice. Did Human open eyes? No, I didn't. It was closed the whole time. Grog, no believe. Human see. Human lies. Hmm. <laughs> Way open now, come home in with Grog. Yep, let's go. Let's go. Ooh, this is cool. Wait till I meet the others, they're all so cute. Oh, I'm excited about it, it's gonna be fun. That Grog house, okay. That water giant house. That chieftain house. That wind giant house. That... Uh-oh. That house chieftain will tell. Oh, okay. Grog no tell. Too sad? Oh. Oh. Ah, uh, Grog forget. Here Grog can help Human. Bring tools to Grog and Grog will make better? Oh! But just little better. More stronger need more giant. <laughs> okay, that's all, Goom Goom Human. Bye. Thank you. My friends and I have started saying Goom Goom to each other because we love the giant so much. That's so cute. Enchantments? Oh, that's cool. To start enchanting, select the weapon or tool you want to enchant. Place an appropriate amount of gems, artifacts, or fossils to fuel the enchantment. Decide which enchantment you want to keep on your tool or weapon. Oh! Cool! Obviously, I don't have this unlocked yet. I don't have any. I don't have anything with me to use it. But that's pretty fun. Also, it wants me to enchant a tool. Free the water giant. So what can I bring? Tool and artifacts? Should I go back? Because I saved artifacts. I have artifacts saved. Should I go back and get them so I can bring them back here? Okay. Also, Olivia and Tabby, thank you for the subs earlier, by the way. They gave me some gems to start. Oh, I literally have gems right there. Never mind, sorry. I forgot. <laughs> You've been selling your artifacts? Yeah, I kept a couple of them because people told me to keep them. I didn't know it was for this, so that's pretty good. Well, I only have my scythe. Mm. 
Mighty hit. Chance to destroy debris in one hit. Should I take that? I guess I did take it. That's what I have now. The enchantments stay when you upgrade? Oh, that's pretty good. Should I enchant this too? No water drain. 10% chance for no water to drain. Open the chest before the log bridge. Okay. We can reroll later too. Okay, good. Maybe I should get my other tools and bring them back here. The chest before the log bridge. What chest? Other side. What, is this a chest? Other side of the log bridge. That chest, shut up, don't be mean. Candy tree seeds, oh, that's good. Guys, listen, don't judge me, okay? I'm gonna get my other tools. And I'm gonna bring them, because I want to upgrade them. This is fun for me. <laughs> okay, so if I re-roll later and I have the one that it rolls to, so you get a percentage increase. That's pretty good. I like this enchanting stuff. I like how you can enchant so early game. Cause in a lot of the other games that I play, like I guess particularly in like Stardew Valley and stuff, you can't enchant this quickly, you know? Um, so it's kind of fun that they're giving you the ability to enchant in like the beginning of the, maybe I'll keep those so I can eat them. They're giving me the ability to enchant so early. See, I saved some of these. I have clay vessels. And a chipped pottery jug. I already donated those and I kept them. So I could use those to upgrade my tools if I wanted to. Hammer. Ho. I don't want that hammer. You can enchant in Stardew. Yeah, once you once you get to the island and you get to like the back of those mines in the island, um, you can use the, they have like an enchanting thing in there and you use a prismatic shard to enchant your tools in Stardew. But it's like super late game because you have to get to the island so you finish the community center and then you can get down there. Oh, I wasn't paying attention to you fast enough. Sorry. Um. Okay. Your stickers arrived! Oh good, Kath, that's exciting, I'm glad, I'm glad. They've been getting for everybody recently, so it should, if you haven't gotten yours yet and you donated to our charity fundraiser and you've redeemed the stickers, you should get it soon. Okay, pickaxe for sure needs enchanted. Rare drop, 40% increased chance of finding a rare item. 40 seems like really high. Yeah, and also like teleportation. It's nice that like you can teleport early in this game, but you get more spots to teleport. Should I do my hoe next? Or should I do my ax? Hit drop. 2% chance for hit to drop items. No energy Jane. 10% chance for it to not drain any energy. That's pretty good. Huh. Cool. Now I have lots of tools and they're all special. I like them. Now I'm gonna go use them. <laughs> I'm gonna go chop some things on my farm now. That one guy with glasses, thanks for the 30 months. Okay. Let's chop a tree, shall we? Chance for it to not take my energy. Perhaps. Okay, thank you. I don't remember what my other ones got enchanted with. <laughs> I've kind of forgotten. <laughs> oh, 
Um, just eat this quick so that I can pick that up. Thank you. This game is so expensive on Switch. It's not on Switch yet. So what game are you referring to? Maybe you're thinking of Fay Farm, which, correct. They'll tell you in my inventory. Oh yeah, there it is. It has it underneath. It's right below my face. It's <laughs> just, just where you can't see it. So, okay. Um, oh, you were thinking of Fay Farm. There you go. Yeah, Fay Farm is on ridiculously expensive on Switch. I agree with you. Um, it sucks because I actually genuinely really liked playing Fay Farm, um, but the dialogue really kind of ruined the vibes for me. Like the combination of the dialogue and being so repetitive and boring, and then also like the um, Dan's opening the garage. The combination of the dialogue being so repetitive and boring, and then also just like the expensiveness of it, and the fact that they were trying to get you to pre-buy DLC that hadn't even been announced yet was kind of making me. Ugh. It's sixty dollars on Switch Fay Farm because you had to buy the DLC, like in advance of the DLC. Um, before they even had announced it. So there was no DLC yet. So it's just kind of weird that that was the the pricing model. The DLC is out now, yeah. Um, but I don't know. I thought that, that game was a little bit too expensive for what it was. And I was kind of disappointed by it. Okay, I think, should I go open these? I really like opening the coffers. I'll probably get off stream in a couple minutes here too, because I do have to record before I stream again later. So I'm try I probably shouldn't have streamed twice today if I want to not have to record this weekend because of Christmas, but I'll make it work. <laughs> I'll figure it out. <laughs> I shall figure it out. It'll be fine. Um, but we're gonna play Among Us in like four hours from now. So I'll be, be I'll be here again. I will be back. Thank you. Um, yeah, they did make a big deal about multiplayer for Fae Farm before it came out. I haven't played it like that, obviously, so. See, thank you for the 64 months. Oh my goodness. Yeah, we're streaming later today. We're gonna play Among Us later. Um, it was the day that worked the best for the most people, so. Um, I will not be there. I shouldn't have been here now, but is, this is the thing. Oh. You just want to play your games, you know? Let me shop. Oh, I didn't want to shop. I wanted to process geode or coffer. Artifact. Artifact. Do I have both of those already? Oh, I donated one of them already. That's okay. Yeah, that was sort of my experience with Fae Farm too. I really liked it when it first came out. I thought it was so cute. And I just, I was having so much fun. The mines especially, and like that whole fairy area in Fae Farm, I really liked. But it, it like, it, I got over it quick. <laughs> I stopped liking it so much. After like, the, the characters were not speaking to me. That was a big part of it. But I did have fun with it. So. Anyway. We all kind of had a similar experience with it. I do still, I still think it's cute. It just doesn't, it's not my favorite of the games that have come out this year, you know? So if you're only gonna buy like one of them because they're expensive, I wouldn't, I would probably get like this one over that, you know? Really about wildflowers, you thought that? Yeah, I haven't played wild, oh, I was gonna donate these. I haven't played wildflowers yet, so I wouldn't know. Um, yeah, the dialogue is super repetitive and there's not like story to the characters really. They just like keep saying the same thing over and over again, even once you get married. Like, you go on a date, they say the same things over and over again, apparently. I haven't even done the romancing yet, but I'm just, like, seeing people say it, and it's kind of disappointing to me. Oh, you have to be so quick with them. I should have done the, like... How do you... Yeah, space to shift. Go fast towards them. I should play Wildflowers so we can see it. Because people talk really highly of it, so... We can make up our own minds. Pearl Island 2 is the best out of the group. That makes sense. I really like this game so far. It's really fun. Okay, that's just one of them. I like this museum system. It's pretty in there. You love wildflowers? Okay. And Spiritfarer. I need to play Spiritfarer too. <laughs> Maybe in January we can play Spiritfarer. I also haven't played Sandrock. I, um, I really liked 
my time at Porsche so much. I had so much fun playing that game. And it, it, it came out, I was playing it in early access in like 2018, this was ages ago. But it came out at such a like useful time in my life because I was going through a really hard time my freshman year of college when I was living in the dorms. And I played so much of my time at Porsche back then. Um, and it was such a like, it was a really good game for me for what I needed at that time. Um, and I really, really enjoyed it, and I haven't played the new one, and I feel like I would like it a lot, because I loved the original one. Um, so, I need to give Sandrock a try, I think. You shall see. Um, Wildflowers isn't a great game to be creative, because the layout is so predetermined. Oh, really? See, that's interesting, like, feedback that I hadn't really heard people saying. I'll have to give it a try still. Ooh, okay. And people speak so highly of Sunhaven as well. I haven't played that either. Um, you play as the character? Oh, I see, I see, I see. Okay. Yeah, I'm just, I won't be live on Christmas Day, and I, I also might not be live the next day on the 26th, but I am gonna be live on Christmas Eve, is my plan. Um, and I'm planning on uploading on YouTube all of those days, because I can do that in advance, but um, I don't know yet. Oh, I, I really, I still really like Disney Dreamlight Valley. I had a lot of fun with it. Um, the story is very fun for me to play and like the grinding of that game was really fun for me to play. And they've updated a bunch. So the story, like they did add a lot to it. So it didn't get boring. I also haven't played the DLC yet. I still want to stream the DLC so we can play it together. So you guys don't have to buy it. <laughs> um, but anyway. Playing the new Star Path and it's fun. Oh, what's the new Star Path theme? I haven't seen it yet. Um, let me put this stuff away. Not you there. You. You. Okay, I'm just gonna put my character to bed. Oh, it's just winter stuff? Oh, but that's fun. I would like that. I should give it a shot. Um, yeah, I, I wish that that game didn't have so many microtransactions because I do really like the idea of it. Um, the DLC is like a whole second game. It's wild. Really? Okay, see, I should really, we should play it. Um, let's get out of here. I think I may go, I think I might end the stream now. Here's probably a good stopping point because I do have some recording to do. Um, I do have some recording to do. So we can probably uh, end it here and then I'll be back in four hours. <laughs> I'll be back in four hours. We're, we're going to play Among Us this evening. So um, that'll be fun. That makes sense, Hope. I get it. Bye, little Simsy. Smell you later. Okay. <laughs> um, oh, Bugs, when I have, like, when I pre-film videos, like, like, what I'm gonna do so I don't have to, like, record on Christmas Day to still post on Christmas Day, I'll schedule a video. So we'll get it done and then, like, edit it and upload it in advance so that it will just go up on time on Christmas Day. I schedule it to go up at 3 p.m. or whatever, you know? Okay, well, thanks for hanging out, everybody. Let me go see who all is live um, so we can find someone to raid, perhaps. Um, and if you enjoyed this stream, you're not usually here with us on Wednesdays. We always stream in the morning on Wednesdays, and it's, I think, kind of fun. It's, it's pretty chill. We just kind of hang out and and play games together. Um, I quite like it, so <laughs> I think you probably would, too, uh, if you wanted to come back next week. And we'll be here this afternoon. I don't, I'm not normally live twice on Wednesdays, but th today we are because we're playing Among Us. Um, I don't actually know. Uh, I think Zeph will be there playing Among Us with later. And Zeph is live right now uh, building. And I kind of want to go over and say hi. So maybe we can go do that. We can go say hi to Zeph. Um, Zeph's stream is very decorated for Christmas. <laughs> I'm looking at this right now. And she has like tinsel all around her camera. <laughs> so we can go over and say hi to Zeph uh, playing some Sims. And then and we'll catch you all later for some Among Us, okay? Thank you for hanging out, everybody. Have a wonderful uh, afternoon or wherever you are. I don't know what time it is for you. <laughs> And I'll see you in a little bit. Okay, thanks for playing Coral Island with me. I really like it. It was fun. Um, and I'll see you in a bit. Okay, okay. Bye. Oh, in, in British time, 4 p.m. my time is 9 p.m. It's four hours from now. So anyway, bye. <laughs> bye.